Hello, hello, everybody. And tonight, we are going to be playing Persona 3 Portable. Let's watch this opening. I haven't seen it before. Then again, I've not, I've, I don't know, like, anything, like, major about Persona 3 Portable, except for, like, like I get a decent bit of, like, research, because I'll get into that later, but Persona 3 is just the most unintuitive Persona to look into and be like, oh, which version should I play? Oh, there was a thing who he was something. Interesting. There's a dog. Topological space. Is it Butterfly? There's Igor. That's like one of the few things I know about Persona. You know, I just realized I don't know if this is copyright or not. Then again, I didn't expect a full-on opening. Again, dog, best boy, with a kunai in his mouth. And a bow and arrow? Meanwhile, we have guns. To live is to change. Huh. Very interesting. But hello, everybody. And welcome to Persona 3 Portable. And uh, this will take just like a little, like, we're going to ramble for a bit. We're going to ramble for a bit because, like, compared to any of the other Persona games, like, even the ones that are more Shin Megami Tensei, than Persona. Like... I just, I don't know. All of the other ones... Huh, remember the cursor position in battle. That's neat. But it's just that... What is data install? Installation data cannot be loaded. No more attempts to reach shall be installed will be made. Okay. Let's try. Install data already exists. Overwrite? Well, I guess no. I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. But yeah, <laughs> to kind of go along with it, with all the other Persona games, Persona 4, you look into it, you go, ah, I'll play Persona 4 Golden. When P Persona 5, you're like, ah, I'll play Persona 5 Royal. With Persona 3, there are s different versions at the wazoo, even from <laughs> right from the start, because it begins normal. You have Persona 3, was released on the PlayStation 2. That's normal. Then you get Playsta uh, the PlayStation 2 game upgrade edition, Persona 3 Fez, F-E-S, which is like, uh, adds in a different, changes a few things, I think, adds in like an epilogue. And, uh, but then they make this, Persona 3 Portable, which is not at all like Persona Fez, Persona 3 Fez. It has, like, a female protagonist you can play that changes things, and they change up the gameplay as well, because if I, if from my research, this uses a modified version of the engine that Persona 4 was made on for the portable version here. But then... Later on, they released, well, not released, they ported Persona 3 Portable to modern consoles, and uh, apparently that's, like, the worst version of Persona 3, Persona Portable. Also, for some reason, my expressions weren't working. Let's see if they work now. Nope, they're being weird. One second, I'll fix this. Give me my expressions, damn you. While I ramble. But... It's just... That, like... Uh, 
let me get my because th this is one of those games where, like oh you're afk we're we'll take control away from you what the, how dare you i have all the control i want but yeah like the other games you can just choose the updated super editions you're good to go this one not so much because like even the like port of persona 3 portable to modern consoles is apparently the worst way to play persona 3 portable because it doesn't really add anything like one thing they could have done because uh, persona 3 portable doesn't have the anime cutscenes which is like the main hit against this version of the original ones like they didn't really update or add anything to the ports as far as I'm aware and even like the sound quality is worse somehow on like the main like new versions or like the ports that they made and then they released uh, Persona 3 Reload but uh, A it's expensive and B it wasn't the ultimate edition of Persona 3 <laughs> which is just sad just such a missed opportunity because it didn't even come fully packed with like all the stuff from like Persona 3 Fez they're re they're re releasing the epilogue chapter as DLC which is just kind of hilarious and they also didn't include the main selling point of Persona 3 Portable which is a female like player protagonist which I'm if I'm correct is the only female protagonist of a Persona game well, of the main ones. I'm not sure about Persona 1 or 2, but those are more Shin Megami Tensei. Because I don't know. I don't know much about that. All I know is there's Shin Megami Tensei, and then there was, like, the spin-off Shin Megami Tensei Persona 1 and 2, and then one of them had, like, an expansion sequel thing. And then they made this, which is technically Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3. But they changed it up a lot, so it's not like that. So, but, and, uh, so it's basically, like, out of the modern Persona games, this is the only one with a female protagonist. Which apparently, like, changes the story a little bit in some ways. And also, another main reason, because, like, uh, the original release, like, Persona 3, Fez, and even the male protagonist route in this game does not let you social link with male party members. For some reason which is odd to me you'd think that you'd want the player to like get to know the other like main players of the story which is just weird that they didn't but you can in this and also other reasons to choose this that I like looked into because apparently there's just changes out the wazoo in Persona 3 and Fez there were mechanics around the social link dynamic which is, or mechanic which is basically oh you hang out and talk to your friends and other colleagues and you like progress the social link and the social link gives you bonuses and stuff but like if you uh put off in like uh doing a social link for a while it could regress or even break and the male protagonist can't friend zone like the female characters in this game so if you try to progress the social link for all of the female characters you have social links for you just lead to what people call the harem route but that's like in in, in the original like persona 3 and fez there's like a weird jealousy mechanic like it's just weird persona 3 is weird that it doesn't have like a definitive def Definitive version of the game. I guess we're getting like closer to where Persona 3 Reload is the like like more than likely preferred version. But I just wanted to experience this one because it intrigued me. As well as the fact that again is not $70 and also doesn't have the weird social link bother because one reason why it's taken me a while to like get to persona because i tried a little bit of persona 4 golden a long time ago and enjoyed it 
but then put it off because I had horrible regimen to bring. But it's also because there's a lot of time management in this game, in this series. And I, for whatever reason, fear that. Super anxiety around that. But I wanted to give it a shot. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to try it. We're going to sit down. We're going to play Persona 3 Portable. And uh, I was going to begin with Persona 4 Golden and then do Persona 5 and then 3. But I decided against that in hindsight because this is, again, the earliest modern Persona game. It's not like Persona 1 or 2, which are more Shin Megami Tensei. This is the beginning of the Persona that people, like, expect and know. This is the beginning of the Persona that would lead into Persona 4 and Persona 5. With the gameplay and, uh, like, mechanics and aesthetics and, like, Jungian, I think it's pronounced that, Jungian psychology. As well as, like, all the tarot card stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> I just figured that I would not suffer myself by beginning with, like, the middle easiest game, then go to the easiest game, only to come to this one, in which apparently it is fully expected of you to not 100% all the social links. Many social links are weird and obtuse in some places compared to Persona 5, where you basically have to go out of your way to not max out all the social links. But yeah, I do know that this version of the game has a few drawbacks to it. Like I mentioned, it doesn't have the anime cutscenes or, like, f animated cutscenes. Unlike, like, the Fez and uh, Definitely Reload. But I just didn't want to deal with all the other like, shenanigans of the versions with, like, the social links and time management. I figured I can accept not having cutscenes and have it be more of a visual novel narrative style. Even if it is sad, because apparently this Persona Awakening is one of the coolest out of the three main ones. So that'll be sad to not get a cutscene of that. From Twitch, howdy, how are we doing today? I am doing decent. <laughs> We're gonna dive into my anxiety game, Persona 3 Portable. Uh, another difference between Portable and other versions is it doesn't have a 3D explorable overworld. It is a point and click kind of panorama kind of selection instead of you as a 3D model wandering around. Meanwhile, the uh, main dungeon aspect is still free, uh, 3D dungeon delving. But yeah, Persona 3, I, I do not understand why Atlas, when they were deciding to make Persona 3 Reload, didn't go, hey, you know what? We're gonna make the definitive Persona 3. No, they didn't even put everything from Persona 3 Fez into Reload, and they didn't include the female protagonist from Persona 3 Portable, and it's just, yeah, money. Which is hilarious, because I don't even think that they're gonna do the female protagonist as DLC. And that's also, again, another reason why we didn't do Reload, because, like, I have no, like, I didn't do much research into Reload. It's $70, the Fez epilogue chapter was sold as DLC, and they don't have the female protagonist path. I don't even know if they, like, overhauled the social links for the male protagonist in Reload to, so that you could actually talk to your, like, male, like, uh, dungeon delving buddies. But enough rambling. We've been rambling for, like, 14 minutes. There's, I had a lot to say. But yeah. Let us begin. Persona 3 Portable. Welcome to the world of P3P. In this game, you can select the gender of the main character. A first and only time, as far as I'm aware, when it comes to, like, uh, blah, 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 Persona games. <laughs> they prevented the harem route. Good! <laughs> well, it depends. 
Hopefully they didn't just have it be the jealousy mechanic again, because that would be annoying. Because in the original Persona 3, you couldn't even friend zone them. If they went the route of Persona 5, from what I hear, where if you try to harem route, all the girlfriends beat you up, that would be hilarious. But in this game, you can select the gender of the main character. The course of the game will change based on the main character's gender. I don't know to what degree. I do, I did, like, while I was researching, like, hey, which version of the game should I play? People did say that choosing the female protagonist, like, altered the theming of the game. But then other people said that it just, like, presented the theming in a different way. And either way, I'm going to play the female protagonist because apparently they didn't change much at all when it comes to the male protagonist of this game. Apparently, they still mention the jealousy mechanic <laughs> for the male protagonist, despite that not being a thing in this one. It's funny that time management is so bad for me that I didn't max the social links and play Persona 5, which is hilarious because when I was talking about it earlier, some one person said, like, okay, when it comes to... Of Persona. Persona 3, you're not at all expected to max out the social links of Persona 3. In fact, it's there's a cheeky little nod like, huh, you must have b read a guide to do this, apparently, for Persona 3. Meanwhile, with Persona 4, you can max out the social links with a decent amount of planning. And Persona 5, the person said, you basically have to go out of your way to not max the social links in Persona 5. Then again, that was probably a Persona veteran, but who knows? <laughs> I know the big selling point was the female. Yep. So that's what we're gonna do. Especially also, again, the female protagonist can actually friend zone people. So we're gonna do that as well. By choosing the, a male main character, you'll be able to play a version very close to the original P3. Apparently so close, they didn't even alter dialogue on removed mechanics or altered mechanics, which is also hilarious. Again, I could be wrong about this. This is just random tidbits that I picked up from my research, because you have to research which version of this game to play, because Atlas refused to make a definitive version! This is recommended for new players who have yet to experience P3. But at the same time, while I was doing my research, one person said that you get an interesting and cool experience by playing the female protagonist first because you get to make choices or learn information in a more, I think, earnest way. Whereas if you play as the male protagonist, you get that information, then you get to the same point as the female protagonist, you go, ah, change thing or something. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't played this game ever. To feel my main character uh, added to this game is not just for female players. She is also for veterans of P3 and P3 Fez who want a new perspective. Now please choose a gender. We're gonna choose the female main protagonist. Begin the story as the female main character. Yes. Next, choose a difficulty setting. I didn't know we had it. Your choice will not influence the storyline. Choose a difficulty level that fits your comfort level. Hmm. For experienced gamers, you'll be able to enjoy the tension of the original P3. For advanced players who are used to devising their own tactics, battles are more difficult than a normal. This, the most difficult mode, is for highly advanced players. Battles are much more difficult than the hard mode, and nothing is carried over from one playthrough to the next. That's interesting. For players without time to devote to battle tactics, battles are less difficult than normal mode, and you may restart up to ten times. I wonder what that means, you can restart up to ten times. You get ten lives? I don't know. For players not used to RPGs, this mode is balanced for ease of play. It allows you to restart up to 30 times when you fall in battle. Oh, I guess just, yeah, 30 lives, and then if you... I wonder how you restock on lives. We're probably going to do normal for just like a balanced experience. <laughs> Why did you choose portable over any other version? I ranted about that for 20 minutes, but it boils down to... Fez has clunky time management stuff with the social links. Like uh, the jealousy thing. The fact that you can't friend zone the female characters and they all are romances. The fact that uh, social links regress in Fez. And, uh, then, uh, reload is $70. <laughs> Basically that. And also, 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 reload is not a super definitive version. They're selling a piece of Fez's DLC and didn't have the female main character. 
lots of reasons. But overall, I was just interested in the Persona 3 portable, like, experience. Like, just interesting, f like, smoothed out the some of the time management things that would have tweaked at my brain. And again, is not $70. Also, funny thing, when it comes to uh, Persona 3 Portable for like, uh, that were ported, they ported this game to modern consoles. In a video I was solved doing my research for this game, apparently it bit crushed the audio for some reason in the ports, which is just weird. <laughs> Fair enough, FIMC is a W. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go for normal, I say, because I think we should be able to do it, maybe? I don't think I'm terrible at strategy, but who knows? We'll go normal. You will not be able to change the difficulty after this. Proceed in normal mode. We'll have to make do. Yes. Now, please enjoy the game. Characters, art, and storylines. Depicting this game purely the graphics and it doesn't have a up. We should butterfly. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter, with your heart as your guide. But yeah, I put off playing Persona for a few reasons. Mostly that uh, the time management is, I hope it doesn't eat at me. The time management is going to eat at me, I think. Because you have to hang out with people. You have to raise your stats. Terminal Station, evening. And yeah, the one downside, no anime cutscenes, but I can live with that. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Female student I with a gun. Put it to my head. Dark. A trigger. Dark I'm already. Out. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. How do you even get a gun? This is Japan. No, I can't. And then train. Inside the new city passenger train. Anne Hazaru. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwatodai. Iwatodai. Butterfly. Is it because of butterfly effect? Iwatodai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Why did it happen and you say it again? Please take care to board. You arrived late. It's almost midnight. Ah, the witching hour. Ominous clock. The ominous clock. The ominous clock is dead. That's not good. Well, that's never good. Well, as the world uh, goes to hell, probably literally, remember to stay hydrated. From my Twitch chat, we can see the anime cutscenes on YouTube. <laughs> Something about the atmosphere seems off. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. Coffins? As you walk from the station, you notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. What is this, like a silent hill but a city? Silent city? Silent Valley, and the green clouds, and a full moon. That's giant. <laughs> it's a nearly gigantic moon. Hey, I, I didn't, I didn't think that they were gonna touch on that. I thought it was just gonna be ah, cinematic, giant moon. Nope. Apparently, that's not good. That's wrong. In universe. <laughs> Yep. 
Did we get to the dorm? Also, we, we're just gonna pass up on the one female student that was trying to commit suicide with a gun in Japan? Uh, Gekko... Gekko-kan High School Iwatodai Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. We're just gonna ignore the coffins? We're gonna ignore the coffins! Welcome. Ominous. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. I don't trust you. This is the dark hour. Four, six. So, uh... I'm gonna guess June 4th, and not April 6th, maybe. And apparently it's like 3 in the morning, dark hour. Oh, no, it should be midnight. I wonder what it means by next 3. We'll learn about that, I guess. It's just casual, everyday stuff. <laughs> well, unknown boy, you've been waiting a long time in your prison pajamas. An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to if you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. Why would an unknown boy be giving me a contract? There's no need to be scared. I feel like you're scamming me. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Ah, well, can't argue with that. Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I choose if this fate of mine own free will. Ominous! From YouTube chat. It's Yuri Lowenthal's voice. Interesting. Below it is a blank to sign your name. Ah, we get to choose my name. Enter first name. If I remember correctly, uh, when I played Persona 4 very briefly, I put Neon Icy Wings as like Neon is the first name, Icy Wings is the second, and that came out janky. So we're just going to put Neon Icy as my first uh, and last names. Ah, enter my last name. That's how that functions. Gotcha. I was wondering why I couldn't hit start. Oh, no. We can't do that. Apparently we can't. Ah, there we go. You have to select the thing to then. Okay, understood. Gotcha. Little weird, but gotcha. I, I intuit what you're throwing down. I am Neon Icy. Proceed. I accept full responsibility for mine actions of will. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. Even with a genie little weird blue-eyed prison boy? And so it begins. Hell. Probably hell. The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. Who's there? Ah, gun girl, is that you? How can you be... But it's... It's the witching hour, and yet I am here through contract and weird little boys. Don't tell me. Oh, how'd you... Oh, I guess it makes sense. You didn't get the gun in Japan. You got it in the dark world. Gotcha. Wait. Other girl. <laughs> this is not one we want to shoot, and everything's good again. What? I didn't think you'd arrive so late. And nobody can explain anything! My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? Neat! She's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Okay. Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Neat! Hi, I'm Yukari. <laughs> There's the question of like, why do you have a gun? Isn't this a normal dorm? Or nice to meet you. Now I need to... Hmm. Which one do I select? Do I get to select them all? I don't know. Will this affect anything? Already my anxiety is spiking. What if I choose the wrong one? But 
Throw that anxiety to the side. Play game time. Hmm. But I guess, isn't this a normal dorm? Huh? Oh, uh, of course it is. Not convincing at all. Not quite. It's a co-ed <laughs> dorm for one thing, and there are other differences as well. I'll explain later. Neat. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Neat. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Dormitory, third floor hallway, at the furthest door. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. Definitely. So, any questions? I signed a contract. Huh? What's this about a contract? Yukari doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? Do you also have a gun? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? I just ignored all those coffins. I just stayed in my lane, apparently. From my YouTube chat, I've been playing Persona 3 Fez on my channel. Neat. I just decided to go with Portable because from my little research, the changes they made, especially on the female protagonist path, like, uh, made, would have just, like, overall, lent to probably make this a more pleasant experience for myself compared to Fez. But, at the end of the day, it's, there's probably no real wrong answer for Persona 3. Except for maybe the Persona 3 portable ports to modern consoles that didn't update anything and in fact somehow downgraded the audio. It's quite literally the longest game I've played. I can bet the how long to beat put this at like 70 hours. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would I select yeah? There were coffins in the street, the moon was big, and the city was vacant. You know what I... never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Um... I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Sure. Good night. Good night, guten Tagen. <laughs> Yukari walked down the stairs. This is your assigned door. Help! Use the directional buttons or analog stick to move the cursor. Hold down the O button to make the cursor move faster. Also, press the R button to display all the icons that can be accessed. Press the R button again to hide the icons. Press the triangle button to access config, erase data, load data, and title screen. Oh, neat! That actually does show things. Apparently it's 2009. That says it's a full moon. Why do I think something bad's gonna happen there? Showa day. What's a showa day? Constitution day, greenery day, children's day. Midterms. Huh. Test results. Double hair. And then there's nothing those. Finals. But nope, this is apparently April. Labor Thanksgiving. Today Bur Day is Labor Day. The mirror reflects your regular face. What do you mean, regular face? What does that mean, game? What does that mean? This is an emulator for portable, correct? Yep, mostly because, like, getting a, like, uh, a PlayStation portable that could then be hooked up to, like, a capture card was a pain, would have been a pain. The ports of Portable are apparently of lower quality, and again, Persona 3 Reload is not a definitive version in $70, and I didn't want to go through Fez with, like, uh, all the things there. 
But speaking of that... Fail save state doesn't exist? Well, fine. We'll make one. Ah, uh, it's because I accidentally hit load state instead of save state. I thought they were swapped. My bad. Man. But interesting. Apparently we can leave. Hey, you are tired today. You should go to bed early. You are tired today. You should go to bed early. You are tired today. You should go to bed early. We cannot do anything. Interesting that they, like, allow you to toggle, like, hey, interactables and non-interactables. But, to bed we go. Just not questioning anything of the day. I could have questioned the gun. I probably should have. But I'm sure we'll get answers of that eventually. <laughs> well, let's sleep. There's nothing else to do. April 7th. <laughs> knock, knock. It's Yukari. Are you awake? No, I'm dead. Apparently, it's Good early morning. morning. Did you sleep okay? Oh, I think I. Huh. Next, the thing went from three to two, and there is a slash to next to the circle. I wonder what that means. Hey, <laughs> go to bed, Neon. Go the fuck to sleep. And now, wake the fuck up. Mitsuru Sanpai asked me to take you to school. Neat. Are you ready to go? Totally. Okay, then let's go. I'll let you take me inside the new city passenger train Anahazuru. Zuru. We have to take a monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? Monorail. Yeah, why why would there be a dorm that you need to take a train to get to school from? Weird. This is my favorite part when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. In a train? Our stop is Port Island Station at oh. the end of the line. From there, we walk. I guess if we are going to a Port Island. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Weird. Oh, look. You can see it now. Why'd they put a statue of a crown on top? Morning. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukon High. You're gonna love it here. Am I? Will I really? Gekukon. You're okay from here, right? Probably. You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. To the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Hmm. Where's my classroom? I think they're posted on the bulletin board, but I haven't checked yet either. Hey. Yeah? About last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw. I won't okay. tell anyone that you had a gun. See you later. Or that apparently you were suicidal. There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Press the square button to select an area and go there immediately. Press make use. Please make use of this function to move around. A lot of like talking. Apparently that guy's angry. Looks like the Sims. But we can ah, we can go to the faculty office. Interesting music that's playing. The two students are talking. Hey Kaz, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. You really ought to find somewhere to change into some normal clothes. Eh, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Quit glaring at me like that. Where's the bulletin board with the homeroom posted? It's right there. You're in class F, Kaz. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you. <sighs> I worry about you sometimes. Huh? The faculty office? I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, we're in a different classes. Eh, whatever. Well, you had uh, a portrait, so you must be important. There's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate anyways. Do you have main character syndrome or what? Because, like, they need to find their room too, dude. Oh, great. I have the worst teacher ever. Hmm. Kids these days don't know how to show respect to their elders. 
We're their teachers. We've lived longer than them. But Moriyama and her gang had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. I'm so sorry, sir, but I have to go. It's time to place my order. Even you're shooing me away. Some way you have to start the school year. I don't think my nerves could take this. All right, I get it. You want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much, right? You could have just asked. Hi there, welcome. Uh, do I even need, do I even have money? Hmm, you seem interested in what we've got on sale. You must be a new student. I know I have enough bread for everyone, so if you want some, come early. I don't have any customers when school's out, so I can't sell that much. I have 3,000 yens. Yens? <laughs> Just 3,000 yen. What's yawn be gone? Or book cover? <laughs> Alright. I better not spend my money w needlessly. Class rosters are posted. You can't find your name. Look for it again. There's a small note with your name on it. Neon Icy, Class F. You look closer and notice that the name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. It seems that you'll be in the same class as her. Interesting. Well, off to the faculty hallway. Examine results are posted here. Examine results, exam results. Why, why are you wearing a samurai helmet? A man wearing a kabuto who looks like a teacher is talking to a foreign male student. Do you see? Every man must have the passionate samurai spirit within him. At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great things. That's fantastic. The teaching of Bushido are important in as they are now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! You may not be a native of this land, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. We seem to be having fun. Hmm, strange. It says this is the uh, this here is the library, but I was just in one down the hall. Is that just another classroom? Nurse's office, library, faculty office, F faculty office. There's two faculty offices? You should go to the faculty office. Fine, I go to faculty office. It's the faculty office. Oh, are you the new student? Yes. Neon Icy. Grade, correct? The teacher is flipping through pages in a wow, file. You've lived in a lot of different places. Have I? Let's see. I don't even know. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> Did they die horribly? Am I Batman? I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. Unprofessional! To hell with you! I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Composition? I'm pleased to meet you. My, aren't you polite? Girls like you should be an example for others. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. So, second floor, room F. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. Ah. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Gotcha. I probably should have walked around more, but then the game... begin the new school year. Why does his face kind of look like a butt? I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Like doing speeches. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. You can hear the students around you whispering about something. I heard we got a transfer student. It's me! They're rumoring me. Yep. I've seen her too. She came to school with Yukari. <laughs> Smirking classmate. We must kill him. I hear talking. <laughs> I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. And you're Be talking. Quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I hear talking. I shall proceed to talk. It doesn't seem like the rumors will stop anytime soon. Early morning to after school. From my YouTube chat, the male MC in Persona 3 is named Makoto Yuki. The female MC is named Kotone, Kotone Shiomi. Interesting. 
Homeroom is over. Your first after-school session is about to begin. Sup, dude. <laughs> Sup, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a deer in headlights. Well, apparently you're friendly. Also, you look like you're 30. <laughs> Who are you? Me? Yes, you. Why do you look weird now? You're like uh, Shaggy Rogers without the hair. I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. Junpei Iori. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. Neat. I know how tough it is being the new kid. And the new transfer kid. So I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. <sighs> At it again, huh? Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Is he even hitting on me? I don't know. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. And I actually believe him on that front. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? It's almost like it is destiny. Hmm. I don't know. I'm glad to have a friend. Feels like a bit presumptuous on what we have. Took me by surprise, yeah, I know. <laughs> and the thing is, for some reason, I'm just flashing back to, like, playing Fallout 4. And, like, oh, I'm gonna select this dialogue option. And it was completely not what I was expecting. But, yeah. Yeah, I know feels a bit dismissive. Took me by surprise. Feels a bit neutral. I'm so I'm gonna glad to have a friend. A friend? Oh, you mean me. Yeah, I... I'm glad we ended up in the same class, too. Um, hello? Did you forget I'm in this class, too? Come on, let me in on the fun. By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. I'm in the special dorm of magicalness with contract handing out little shadow boys. A couple of cuties like you walking side by side. <laughs> the whole class was buzzing about you. Ugh, could you just cut it out? I hate dealing with rumors like that. Rumors are hell. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, I've got to go take care of some archery team stuff. Archery Don't try team anything stuff? Funny. You got that, Junpei? I guess that explains why there's, like, archery as a weapon in this game. <laughs> then again, is that just, like, a normal thing? Like, hello, welcome to Japan school. Uh, we have uh, football, we have uh, basketball, and archery. What was it like finishing Nier Automata? Don't say any spoilers. Still deciding on whether or not to play it. It is a very interesting experience. It is a very interesting experience. The gameplay, a little bit like, uh, like overall, I'm trying to think. It's not basic, but it's consistent. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it changes all too much. But yeah, it's a fun experience and not like super long. It throws out some neat stuff there, some cool story stuff. But yeah, if you enjoy like platinum style gameplay, at least a first run through the main story all the way through is a good time. What is she, your nanny? She's the first person who talked to me while she was holding a gun. Well, just to clear something up. I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. That's a fun expression he has there. And honestly, I believe him. He was just being friendly. I uh, unless uh, unless I'm a fool. It's entirely possible I'm a fool. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. And you'll use your hat to beat people to death for me. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. My door's always open, so to speak. Junpei caught up to you in the halls and persuaded you to, into letting him walk you back to the Whoa. dorm. Check out the job He's gonna the walk run. me across the monorail! <laughs> Check out the jocks on their run. I guess they're doing, like, uh, what is it called? The, uh, track. Also, that is some, uh, ornate gate they've got there. What kind of high-level school is this? Then again, they have archery. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? They have not. Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? What clubs? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpei while walking back. Evening. I can't believe school took up my entire day. I am a slave to society. There's a sign-in sheet on the counter. Help! 
You can save your game at the sign-in sheet. Welcome back. That one's pink. I will go back to my room. Save. New date. Oh, neat. It even has, like, a... Tells you, like, what route you're on. You turn on the television. It's a trend that just might spread all over the town. Our next story is about the cherry blossoms. It's springtime, and they're all over town now. The blossoms this year were a little late compared to other years, but they'll be at their peak this week. Neat. Because uh, I am very anxious about playing this game, I am going to hit a save state. So that if I do a super mistake, I can save myself. <laughs> Ladies' room. Men's room. Well, I guess let's talk to you. You really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night's rest. Oh, hi. What are you doing? <laughs> Just looking around. Well, there's not much to see. You're probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Everybody is telling me that. Back door? The back door is locked. Damn it. It's the woman's restroom. Sure, let's go in. Oh. I thought we could actually go in. Your mind wanders as you wash your hands. What should you do today? It is evening. Apparently we're going to go to bed. It's a vending machine. Buy something to drink. Cielo Mist Soul Bay Mad Bull. Uh, don't buy anything. Vacant room. Vacant room. Vacant room. Akihiko's room. And vacant room. It seems to be an empty room, but the door is locked and won't open. Well, I don't feel like intruding. I feel like that would be a bad thing. They'd probably come and murder me in my sleep. Another vending machine. Yukari Mitsuru, vacant, vacant. Your room. Silly game, my name's not your. Later, at the dormitory lounge, a young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuru was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. Why do you have a band-aid on your head? Do you have brain damage? Mm, Pale-haired man, child dude? Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? That seems a little off out of the way. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. What's apathy syndrome? Is it something caused by the internet? I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. The aliens! Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Interesting. A little bit ominous. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Oh, you! Just realized I probably could have tried to go into the room, so I made a save state. But I don't want to, like, save scum too much. I want to play this legitimately. <laughs> a lot of people like Portable because, well, female main character. It is a neat little thing, because I think this is the only one that lets you choose your gender. It's like the selling point. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? Th no! Not that one. I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, it's coming. It's coming. Huh. How about that? You don't believe me? The first bell has rung. What about the second bell? Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zinzo Kasai. Uh, ah, why him? I'd rather teach you Tsubo Kubo, uh, Kubota. Kubota? Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. 
I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubato... Uh, Kubo... I don't know why. This name is annihilating me. Kubata. Kubota. Kubota. Kubota's book. Next time. I wonder why they just, like, said that multiple times. The first guy mentioned once. Kubota? Multiple times. He's gonna come here. He'll be a boss we have to fight. <laughs> the literature singer, man. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh-huh. Uh, um... Psst, who did she like? Oh, Kubota. That's right, so you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Neon. You hear your classmates whispering. Neon, give him the answer. She must pay attention in class. <laughs> That's hilarious. You became slightly... <laughs> you became slightly more popular? Is that a stat that I'm going to have to worry about? What the school thinks of me? I'm going to be drawn and quartered. Oh, my charm has increased. Never mind. I don't... I'll become so charming they won't draw and quarter me. Hopefully all of the questions are like that. Class has ended for the day. There's nothing to do, so you decided to go back to the dorm. But there's a man standing there! I could have talked to him! The dormitory lounge. Lounge lounge. Yukari is already here, talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, she's back. So, this is our new guest. Sophisticated gentleman. Good evening. Evening, dude. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman Ikutsuki. of the board for your school. Chairman of the board. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, not really. It's honestly easier for me than Kubota. That's why I don't like introducing myself. <laughs> Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. Ah, eh, no, no issue. I just had to walk by, uh, you know, the coffins. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. It's almost like it's fate, glasses man. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Hmm... Hmm. Just to give my ease my anxiety a bit. Save state. I'm gonna cause like why did you come here? He probably came here to address me in person to be like, just so you know, we're taking it seriously. Who else lives here? Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Then again, no, not really. Maybe I can talk about all of them. I saw something odd. You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. That's an odd comment. Something doesn't seem right. Do you have another question? Hmm. Why did you come to here? welcome you, of course. Thank you, that's Speaking why I assumed. Which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? Who else lives there here? Are only four students in this door. And uh, there's me. I already have Yukari, Mitsuru, and that guy. Unless uh, I technically don't count. You, Yukari nope. here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. Sanada. I hope you all get along. I haven't even met him. And I've only really talked to Yukari the most. Do you have another question? Not really. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I must go must make coffins. From all the excitement. You should go to bed early. That's what everyone is saying. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Are you saying that I should kill you? Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. You are no Sans Undertale. You need to own the puns, little man. You need to own them. You rest for the day. You decided to return to your room and sleep. I probably misread that because I just pressed because I am a fool. <coughs> werewolf? Hot werewolf man? Later, at a certain room in the dormitory. The fuck? Working hard? Doge ending? What? Why are there just giant speakers in the wall? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. 
She's asleep now. You're monitoring me? Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. That I'm what, red-haired lady? What? The dark hour is approaching. Ominous. Ominous! Ah, that must be the back door. Yep, or in a back alley of Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. Well, that would change the channel then. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. Well, I guess he, t he took my advice. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. Apparently, they weren't hits for this guy. This program is brought to you by They're more like Kirisho Mrs. Electronics. Kirisho Electronics, always there when you need them. It'd be hilarious if Kirisho Electronics is like an actual brand and this was a sponsor. The time is now midnight. Ah, hell time. Coffin time. The coffins are on their way to dance. Although now that just makes me think there are like coffins that wander around trying to eat people to fill themselves and have purpose. Oh, blood. So this is Silent Hill. Huh? What the? What's happening to me? Are you becoming a werewolf? Oh, uh, no, he's spitting oil. Ominous? I'm gonna guess that was like a cutscene in the normal game, but huh. <laughs> Honestly, just a still image of him with the red, the, the black just pouring down him. Ominous! Back at a certain room in the dormitory. Hmm. She's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. Are you talking to me, Ikutsuki? During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin but, and is what? oblivious to all that occurs. So everybody turns into a coffin, but I didn't. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. Huh. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. So that's why she... That's why... You, but then again, you should know this, Yukari. You saw me. You saw me active in the dark hour. I came in and signed a contract with a little boy. The only question that remains. I never questioned the coffins, she though. Has the potential. The potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Ominous. So scary. That's basically the, the beginning of Persona. Ominous. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Is that why it was, why I don't, there's like not an opening in other dorms? Because I came into the dormitory, like, uh, due to a mix-up, like, oh, you got here by accident. We're gonna move you elsewhere. But then they realized, wait a minute, she was active during the dark hour. Let's actually not move her and see what happens. Master. Master Neon Icy. Ooh. It's me. Art thou me and art I you? Or whatever? Door. This music sounds familiar. Oh, hey, it's Igor, I think. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ominous. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Mysterious old gentleman. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. So this place is like an injutsu. Why are there four doors? Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Interesting. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. Neat! You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. It's interesting, because there's like two doors that are fully unclothed, one that is partially and one that's completely clothed. I only ask one thing in return. Your soul. That you abide by the contract. 
and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Uh, is there a way to even not do that? I understand. Hold on to this. Obtained velvet key. Just imagining a key, but like clothed in velvet, that just seems so weird to me. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. Yeah. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. Sure thing, weird little guy. You felt like you had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? Why would that do? What would that do? <laughs> you must take responsibility for your actions, Neon. Well, I guess we'll have to do that. We signed a contract for it. But yeah, like, why would sleeping in class... Well, I guess just because... You got more sleep in general, but I don't know. That just still seems weird. Huh. I wonder if this affects, like, the social links at all. Like, do I already begin accruing, like, diddly dees with them or not? I don't know. Like, a part of me feels like you wouldn't, but you never know. So I just didn't, I didn't, yeah. But let's, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you need to take care of yourself. Don't sleep in class. What? Why do you have to be all serious? The feeling of being completely recharged is awesome. But I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. Ah, uh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nastioli Coda. Ahem. <laughs> I'm Mr. Ikoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit is irrelevant to everyday life, but oh, oh, they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children! Now open your textbooks. First in our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. Isn't that where, like, a guy visited, like, China and stole their alphabet? It's a very interesting story, you youngsters might call it Da Bomb. Uh, I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics has increased. My intelligence! I will be very smirt! You met Yukari at the shoeboxes and decided to go back together. Oh, hey! Fountain! Paulo... Polonia, Polonia, Mall. Have you come here before? No. A lot of Gekukan students come here after school. Neat. There's a karaoke box and a Boop. shop. Oh, and a really great cafe too. Karaoke? Karaoke? What kind of sin of syllables was that? Karaoke? 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 What? You are obviously evil. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, <laughs> like maybe, like, why didn't they get a different take? It's Kara, okay? <laughs> uh, from my YouTube chat, the way social links work is that you need specific stats for certain characters. I don't know what stats you need for female main character. Sorry you're in the dark for this one. Uh, but thank you for the heads up either way. Man, there's a Kara okay box, a CD shop, and a really great cafe too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. Darn. 
The Paulonia Mall is crowded with students on their way back from school. Welcome back. It is I. The moon is beautiful tonight. It might be nice to read a book by moonlight once in a while. Save! Always check TV. Hi, I'm Trish of today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a very dependable looking 20 year old woman. Her sister is a camera woman and I've heard she got a camera from her master. Next is news, pain, pain, go away. Weird. These networked computers were installed when dorm was built. Their main purpose is to send the school reports about daily life here in the dorm. Huh. Interesting. There used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but there's just us students here now. It'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? <laughs> You're right. That'd be nice. I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuru-senpai just doesn't do things like that. You know, if you're handy around the kitchen, I bet you could do a really uh, could really do something with this place. The back door is locked, aid. And there doesn't seem to be much point because we just go to the bathroom. Well, screw it. Maybe we'll find God in there one of these days. We'll make it a routine now. What should you do today? It is evening! Againing! Apparently we can go into Akahiko's room. But that seems mean. Hmm. Also interesting. Yukari, Mitsuru... What about the fourth floor? The door is locked. What's in this room? Oh, and there's ones up here too. Let's go to the rooftop. There's a notice on the door. Do not open. If open, close it. All right, fine. Y'all no fun. Let's -a go. You feel tired. You should get some rest. You are tired today. You should go to bed early. The mirror reflects your regular face. As opposed to my irregular face. I saved, so no need for a quick save. Quick save. What I should probably do is make a quick save at the beginning of each day. So if something jumps out at me and surprises me. Hmm. At a certain room in the dormitory. How is she? I'm alive. The same as last night. Hmm, very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. I'm very stable. Memory loss, disorientation, but this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. I even stayed awake in classic lit. That must obviously make me God. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. I kind of am. I understand your concern. But it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still. Ding. An emergency call from outside rang the room. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Phrasing. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Neat! Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. <laughs> what is this? Tur this is turning into that, like, uh, one game that was announced on the Nintendo Direct yesterday. We gotta defend the dorm room! All right. Be careful. That was a weird reading. <laughs> right. Be careful. He just said that so monotone. <laughs> Am I gonna come down and be like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I'm alright. 
Obviously, you're not. You still have that Band-Aid on your head. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me. Why? Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. I want to see it. Takeda, go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. Ah, the back is going to finally be used. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. Will you, though? You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! Your room. You're woken by a loud noise. Should you go check outside? Let's go take a look! Wake up! Hey, I was gonna do that anyway. Put on a little Sorry, makeup. I'm coming in! <laughs> As your dorm <laughs> dorm mate, have I have to <laughs> assert my dominance. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here then. Well, okay. We'll lead through the back door. I'll I'll accept. Wait. We don't have time for anything. Take this, just in case. Take what? <laughs> a long thin implement. It's a naginata. Where'd you get a naginata? From classic lit. Okay, let's go. Follow me. Dormitory first floor at the rear entrance. Right. We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm probably just there like, what do you mean enemy? The I just woke up. Isn't the one Akihiko saw. Oh, that's great. What? Uh, let's pull back. Where? The rooftop? Second floor. Through the window? What was that? Noises. Keep moving, hurry! You know, we probably would have seen it by now if we were like actually had cutscenes and models. Not seen? It's kind of more ominous. Oh hey, I knew it. Rooftop. <sighs> the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. It's not gonna help us. Oh. Oh, great. It's climbing the building. And has... Oh, great. What the fuck are you? You climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? A weird Spider-Man. Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. This could be a perfect time for testing. That's the thing that attacked this place. It's just a we pile of shadows. limbs. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine, no problem. What do you mean summon yours? Again, it's just a pile Here of. Goes. What? <laughs> Didn't even get a chance. I'm not going to use my Naginata. I'll just use the gun. <laughs> I'll do what you were doing. All the kids, all cool kids are doing it with their pumped up kicks. Jesus. Oh, hey, a heart harp. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou art I, and I am thou. And uh, apparently it didn't. Oh! Oh, great! I got the creepy guy! Who's just very angry! Very angry! I didn't. Huh. I got a cool harp lady, and uh, then Coffin Master burst out of him. What on earth was that? But it's just hilarious. You see your doorm mate about to shoot himself in the head after saying, I'm going to summon it. And then the gun lands behind you and is just like, you know what? I'll do what she was doing. <laughs> and then it worked out well. And then my heart heart robot came back. The sudden swell of power has subsided. Orpheus regained its original form. 
You have obtained a new persona. I... <laughs> it just ha it came to me. Is it over? How has there not been a fan-made persona parody called Fursona? Never mind, there's another hand. It's still moving. After what Coffin Man did to it? A piece of the shadow is heading for Yukari. No. Get away from me! And you don't have a gun to summon a persona. You have to save her. Normal combat time! Attack using equipped weapon, flee from battle, take a defensive action. Assign a new persona. Use an assigned persona special ability. I'll just attack a weapon. Might have to alter, like, effect audio. It's heavy. Ah, I gotta, gotta get a good attack on you. Bash. Deals li uh, light strike damage to one foe. Either deals five da uh, HP or takes five HP. Oh, it actually does damage to you. Okay. Note to self. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Level up. I'm so, I'm, how am I a slacker? I did good. Your hit points and spirit points have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level three. Something inside you has changed. Look at that Orpheus. Orpheus is leveled up. Ag has increased by two. L has increased by one. Orpheus learned Aggie. Interesting. The monsters are gone. It seems Yukari is safe, too. You feel exhausted. You're losing consciousness. Well, that seems to happen when uh, you shoot yourself in the head. Are you okay? I shot myself in the head. What do you think? And then glass came out. I am a glass robot. Oh, come on. Please. Can you hear me? I can't. I'm asleep. And also, I'm a silent protagonist. Oh, hey. Igor! This is the Velvet Room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. I shot myself in the head. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. You could have... You could have given me a hint. Like, oh, yeah, just so you know. <laughs> I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. Does that mean that I'm going to be torn to shreds by muses? That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Neat. Persona? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as Neat. a mask that protects you. As you brave many hardships. Huh. That reminds me of, like, I think a Japanese personality philosophy. That we have three faces. The face we show to strangers. The face we show to those close to us. And then the face we only show to ourselves. Hmm. That's what Orpheus when is? you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. Apparently by drawing it out by shooting yourself. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. You know, that's kind of neat. You become stronger as you get to know people. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Neat. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Well, thank you for talking to me and giving me the lowdown, Igor. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. I doubt you could beat the game without coming here again. That would be amusing. Until then, farewell. Whoa, what the fuck? 
Did we skip multiple days or what? Your head is getting clearer. You can see a white ceiling. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence beside you. You're awake. How the long have I been fucking out? Um, how do you feel? Like I've been shot in the head. Have you been here long? Thank goodness you finally came too. I was so worried about you. Well, thank you for like trying to save me from the horrors. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. For like two weeks? Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. I summoned Orpheus and then Orpheus transformed and went mad. What were those things? You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. Igor told me about that. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. Well, to be honest, if you did tell me, I probably would have thought it was weird not believed you. So really, this is just payment. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. Not ex where I thought this was going. I thought you meant I too have a persona. Not my dad died. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. Yeesh. You're all alone too, right? Yep, my parents are apparently dead. To be honest, I already know about your past. Impressive. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. So like 10 years ago. There was ago. a big explosion in the area. 10 years ago, huh? So your dad died probably in the same time my parents did. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. It was a shadow blast from Shadow the Hedgehog. He was working in a lab run by the Curijo group. Huh. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekkokan High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them, too. So, so you mean to tell me that you just awakened your persona one day by shooting yourself in the head and never because you were in danger? That's kind of disturbing. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. I mean, it's a gun. You, you know, come to think of it, it is kind of a, a kind of a ominous thing that, like, you were hesitant to shoot yourself, but and you had context. They probably told you, hey, you're special. If you use this gun, it'll draw out your power and won't kill you. And you probably saw the others do the same to fight shadows in the past. Me, I had no context. I just saw a gun, saw that you were going to do it, and be like, well, let's do what the cool kids do. Does that mean I'm more suicidal than you? Hmm, what should we say? It's not like I was scared too, or it's... Hmm, I'd say it's not your fault. Thanks, but still, here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. <laughs> it, it has been a day for me. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from her. As soon as she wakes up, I'll tell her the truth. And I appreciate that. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. And you didn't want to share it with uh, the other members of your All little right. team? I'm gonna also, going. I just realized something. You're not wearing... Are you wearing that armband? No, you're not. It doesn't look like she's wearing the armband that she was during the... Like, dark hour, I think. I'll let the others know you woke up. Thank you. Who gave me sunflowers? Oh, and, uh, you don't have to be formal around me or anything. Okie dokie. The second your girls got to stick up for each other after all. Bye. Thank you for helping me. Yo, long time to see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? Anyways, I got something to tell you. Hmm. What? Uh, hmm. What is it? Actually, oh wait, I'm not supposed to say anything. Sorry, man. 
Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. I could hear you from all the way over there. Hey, it's Yucatan! You two live in the same dorm yet came separately today? Is it because you'll cause too many rumors again, hmm? What? I just left a little late. Anyways, I need to talk to her. Bye-bye, Junpei. What? Are you feeling better, Neon? Uh, sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning, but Ikutsuki-san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. I like the just like wandering around music. Oh, it's the, it's the Kabuto guy. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. Uh, I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history's not that exciting until then. Though I'm paid to do this, so I've gotta. It's tough being an adult. Next is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm? Hey, Junpei! What was the style of houses in the Jomon period called? Uh, how am I supposed to know some, uh, know about something way back then? Quick, Neon, what the heck is he talking about? Huh. I'm trying to think. These, these do give stats. Not caves. I highly doubt that the Japanese would, like, then again, I don't know what the Jomon period is. I've never really heard about it. But I'm going to assume that it's, like, similar-ish to other older Japanese periods. And so I don't think elevated houses. Like, maybe later on, like, buildings where they kind of have the, like, base floor of the house elevated off the ground, from what I recall. But if it is, like, an early period of Japan... I would say not caves, that would be dumb, because they're buildings. Not elevated houses, that feels a bit too advanced. And at the same time, they might have not have been called elevated houses. Mud huts, I say. Well, watch me be this, get wrong. Oh, correct! Haha! <laughs> Suck it, Kabuto head! I win! My win! That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. Oh. Did not know that at all. So in a way, they kind of are caves. It's no use. I can't get interested. Um, uh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Hey, I answered right and I don't get any credit? Oh, well, thanks, Neon. You hear your classmates whispering. Neon told Junpei the answer. She's really smart. You became slightly more popular. If I'm so smart, why didn't my academics go up? Class ended for the day. There seems to be something important going on at the dorm. You decide to go back early. I'm never gonna talk to that guy, am I? Just standing there. There's no one in the lounge. You were told to go to the fourth floor. I shall save. Well, we'll make a new save file. Who's on television? The news is on. The news is on. But who's on first? Who knows? Maybe we'll find God in there. Is it you, God? What should you do today? It is evening again! Well, this is a fancy as fuck place. A room on the fourth floor. Yukari Mitsuru, the chairman, and an unfamiliar male student are sitting here. Ah, there you are. Is me! I'm glad that you're okay. I wasn't sure what I'd do if anything had happened to you. Stalker man, also the way you're saying things is weird. The reason I asked Mr. You Turtleneck! Because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that. <laughs> before you have a seat. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? I was almost murdered by shadows. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Yeah? Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Excuse me? 
Do you remember the night you came here? Coffin. You had to have noticed the signs. Everywhere. I was just staying in my lane. The street lights went out. Nothing was working. There were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? I feel like I should have been more weirded out by the coffins everywhere rather than the time. That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. <laughs> hidden? I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of. But the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. For some reason that made me think of the phenomena that technically we don't see everything all at once. Like, there are blind spots in our eyes, and like, blind periods in our eyes as well. Like, I don't know, I just remember reading about this a long time ago. The body is weird. It'll happen tonight, and every night to come. Weird. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. What did the Dark Hour do before coffins were invented? <laughs> but... That's not what makes the Dark Hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. Why don't, why don't you call them freaky as fuck slimes? They only appear during the Dark Hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. Weird. What if we brought coffins with us like coffin turtles? They'll never know. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Do we get paid? Akihiko, why are you always like that? What do you mean? Like, bloodthirsty, he likes to fight them? You just got hurt the other day. I guess that is it. Now, now. He does his work well. Being suicidal? Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's for short. I guess I, guess I can understand the extracurricular because you're, like, all related to the school, but still. <laughs> the, a little odd. Cease. On paper. We're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Neat. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. Huh. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Then where do these people go? They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. I don't think I heard anything on the news. I probably should have checked the news more often and not just the one time. How do you fight them? Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. And we all gather here at this dorm. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. I just realized, <laughs> how does this affect things like planes and boats? Like, do, does the water just freeze? Do planes just freeze in the air for the dark hour? And everybody just like shoots up into standing room only? into coffin mode? <laughs> like, what if somebody's, like, like, able to function in the dark hour on a boat, everybody's just sliding around in their coffins on a boat? <laughs> I uh, this is, That's probably just the nitpicky, hey, what about this? But I don't know, the mental image is amusing to me. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Interesting. But I'm just using the Naginata. Which means it's all up to you guys. Do you have a Persona? I see. I'm glad you're quick to understand. I guess you could say I cease. <laughs> He's going to give me a gun. Mitsuru opens the case on the table. A silver gun gleams uncannily from inside. What he's trying to say is... We want you to join us. Join our suicide cult, where we don't commit suicide, but we do. But it doesn't kill us. It summons a piece of our our psyche soul. We've prepared an evoker for you. <laughs> We'd like you to lend us your strength. How did people summon their persona before guns? Did they... <gasps> Gronk take <laughs> stone, bash against head. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. Well, I'm playing this game for a reason. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Also, considering what happened that night, I would rather be able to uh, defend myself. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I mean, sure. I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> 
That chuckle feet. Oh no, you're weird, man, Hold turtleneck. But wasn't that? <laughs> oh, never mind. I knew it. They were planning this all along. You join Cease to fight the shadows. Huh? A voice rings in your head. What? Tarot card! Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed in creating personas of the Fool Arcana. I guess this is just the Cease. Yeah, this is the Cease social link. You have established the Cease social link of the Fool Arcana. I don't think the fool actually means like, oh, you're a fool, because like, Ar like Arcana and Tarot aren't like immediately obvious. Like death doesn't mean actual death; it means something else, but I forget what it is. You may earn an experience bonus when fusing personas of the fool Arcana. You feel your inner strength growing. You recall what Igor said about the power of social links. The intensity of social links strengthens the power of the personas. And just to let everybody know, I do know that there is a mechanic in regards to social links that if you have an equipped persona of the appropriate arcana while doing the social link, you get like bonus progress on the social link, I do believe. I doubt I'm going to be able to make use of that. I'm probably going to forget. <laughs> Does that mean that if I use Fool Arcana that I just, like, progress the Cease faster? I don't think so, but that would be funny. Social links. Are these the bonds you form with people you meet? You're still tired from your hospital stay. You decided to return to your room. And just skip out on all the dialogue? They gave me a gun! And now it's the dark hour. Does that mean that since I function during the dark hour, I get an extra hour of sleep? As you were dozing off, you felt someone's presence. Hi, how are you? Ah, uh, it's Yuri Lowenthal again. Hm. How'd you get in here? I'm always with you. Ominous! <laughs> Soon the end will come. Oh, I don't like you. I remembered, so I then again, I tell you. you gave me the contract from Igor, so I guess I have to trust you. You're weird. Thanks. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to thank me. Well, you came to tell me information. The end is coming. But you're welcome. That is what I'm supposed to say, right? Sure. I don't really know what this end is about either. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. Yeah, I shot myself in the head. Glass came out. And an unusual power it is. Yeah, Orpheus went crazy and became, I don't know, Hades. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. I guess if a power can take many forms, it isn't bound by any form. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Ominous. Do you remember when we first met? Yeah, you gave me a contract. Like, uh, be beholden to the consequences of my actions. I expect you to honor your commitment. I don't even know how I wouldn't. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Ominous. Okay, then. See you later. I hate that you're kind of pseudo-monochrome, except for your eyes. It's like he gets paler the further up you go. The boy disappeared. What a weird, weird little man. Morning, um, thanks about yesterday. Akihiko-senpai's injured too, and I was really uneasy about working alone with Mitsuru-senpai. <laughs> she... Oh, Mitsuru is... I forget. Akihiko is the guy. Mitsuru is the girl. I think. I'm bad with names already. So kind of interesting that she's more willing to work with Akihiko... And not, uh, always bang covering one eye, lady. Huh. Leave it to me. Yeah, let's do our best together. But I wonder when Senpai's injury is going to heal. 
You said that wasn't a major injury. Early morning, after school. Yukari began talking to you in class. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall asleep in there. Don't do that. I already, uh, chastised Junpei. Can I have a minute? Ah, it's creepy lady. Well, like, I don't know, there's just something about your hair covering your eye. Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. Sure. I'll save the details for later. Neat. See I skipped dialogue because I'm a fool. You paused too long! Mitsuru left as soon as she was done. That was fast. She's probably busy with things like student council. Unlike us. Us lowly students. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? It seems that Junpei was listening too. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... Never mind. Let's go. Let's -a go! Wild Duck Burger. Huh. You ought to die, strip mall. Uh, about earlier? It's not that I don't like her or anything, you know? Oh, I'm talking about Mitsuru Senpai. Thank you for giving me context, because it has been a... We were walking for a while to get from the school to here, you know? And also, I, I kind of have a pet peeve when people, like, just skip or, like, change, like, a, a conversational topic, but then don't clarify, I am now talking about this. Why does Junpei always have to talk about stuff that isn't any of his business, huh? Well, obviously, I, I, he's obviously gonna be our partner, you know. That's how these things work. Plus, he says it all in the creepiest, most perverted way. Did he? He's like the poster boy for sexual harassment. I don't get that from him, but maybe I just haven't been affected. <laughs> like, uh, maybe I just haven't been hit by the hardest of his perverted tones. You know, last year he... He what? You continue... Ah, <laughs> we don't even get to know! You continue to gossip all the way back to the dorm. <laughs> Dormitory, fourth floor, command room. Mitsuru and Akihiko are already here. Welcome back. Yes. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Who is it? Huh? Hey, hurry up. Is it Junpei? Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. What's freaking heavy? <laughs> What's up? Hilarious. <laughs> Knew it. He was going to be a, a part of this. <laughs> He's just like, like, I wanted to, to introduce someone. <laughs> Junpei? Why are you here? He's here to attack everyone. This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. How come he gets to come into the command room on day one? I didn't get to do that. He's staying here. I didn't even get to meet, like, Akahiko on day one. I bumped into him the other night. Ah, uh, during the, the witching hour? He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. Did he try to shoot himself in the darkening hour? How else do you awaken it? I told him about us, and he agreed to help. <laughs> Hilarious! You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. Like, how do you awaken to the potential? Like, do you just go through your life like you're a baby? And you have the potential, and you're just, like, screaming awake during the dark hour. Like, how, how do you... You're a child. You wake up in the dark hour, and you go, like, Mommy, Daddy, I'm, I had a nightmare. And they're just basically T-posing coffins on the bed. I don't remember much, but, man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering Ah, anything. the symptoms. Did you guys know that? I was okay, though. Hey, don't feel bad. It happens to all us Persona users. How do you know it's called a Persona? Akihiko just tell you everything? Man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. 
It could get kind of lonely, you know? Like being Spider-Man. I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? I mean, you haven't done anything perverted towards me, so sure. It'd be nice to have a guy around too, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think that's a bit of the perversion. Huh? Uh, yeah. So, anyway, glad to join the team. Huh. Let's do our best. You can count on me. Junpei joins Cis. Well, enough with the introductions. <laughs> Persona jump scare. I wouldn't be surprised if there were jump scares in this game. I think we're about ready. Ready for what? Also, what was he dragging okay. in, I wonder? Everybody's here. Junpei, I mean. I'd like your undivided attention. Yeah? For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. And now we have three more! That number recently jumped to five. Interesting. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Considering that my Persona is called Orpheus, I don't think this is going to end well for me. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. It literally doesn't. It is Greek mythology, you Philistine! You haven't seen it, Junpei? Seen it? It's Tartarus. It is uh, Greek mythology! Why has nobody jumped into Greek mythology before seen it? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? The darkening. Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. All right. Why would the shadows need a nest? I don't like that. What kind of light bulb do they use to foster the shadows? Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Oh, that's why only three of you will be going. Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Good. We don't want him to die. Yeah, I know. I don't think people can permanently die in this, but what do I know? Relax. I've got your backs. You just got here. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a persona. Or does he, and he's hiding it from all of us. As you know, I can't summon a persona. Huh, timing. The way he said that, it was... Tartarus is in the school, huh? This is it? This is the place? We're gonna shoot up the school. Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. It's almost the dark hour. We get to go to see Hades. Be hilarious if the moon just got bigger. What even? That just rises out of the school? Huh. Don't like that. <laughs> Persona this goes to the Tartarus, hell dimension. That considering, the dark hour. considering that it's called Tartarus, not that far off. Granted, Tartarus is less hell hell, although I guess there's like multiple levels of Tartarus because there's like uh, Elysium and stuff, but yeah. But neat. Why does it only show up at school? Uh, labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Eh, uh, what happens in the dark hour stays in the dark hour. Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. Or does it? This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? <laughs> no. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Guess it makes sense because they originally only had two Persona users. Now there's, I guess, four of us are going in. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the dark hour. Does there, though? Does there? Maybe it's just another manifestation of hell. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know. You don't have to remind me. So this is Tartarus. 
You decide to enter the tower. I find it funny that we're exploring Tartarus before Whoa. the it's mall. Just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. Neat. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. A feel for hell. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. Are you, though? And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. It's going to be me, isn't it? For real? One of us? One of us. One of us. Oh, oh me, 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 pick me. Uh, <laughs> Akihiko going, maybe I regret recruiting you. You're in charge. Ha <laughs> ha! But, but she's a girl. How dare you? I was advocating for you, you hat wearer. Well, she has fought them before. Seriously? I killed, my persona killed a big one. Or whatever the hell my persona became. That's true, but there's another reason. Is it because I'm special? You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like she can? Yeah, of course I can. Do it. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. And also, what do you mean difficulties? When I try to use my persona in combat, I had to shoot myself in the head and deal five damage to myself. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? Considering, uh, I don't know if there's, like, much that we can actually do to, like, uh, prepare. Like, nothing, we can't go really stock up on things, so. You betcha. <laughs> That's the spirit. You decide to go through the entrance. I do like that the doorway is like a giant clock. A strange door is sitting in the corner of the lobby. What's the matter? Do you not see the door? The velvet key in your hand is shining. The key fit into the door's keyhole as if it was being sucked in. Kinky! Will everyone come with me? I've been waiting for you. You could say that in a less creepy way, Igor. The time has come for you to wield your power. Like a cudgel? The tower that you are about to venture into. Yes? How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? I feel like you know and you're taunting me. Ah, uh, regrettably. You are not yet capable of answering these questions. Sure. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. You said it came from my psyche. Your power is unique. Ah, protagonist power. It's like the number zero. It's empty, <laughs> What? But at the same time, holds infinite possibilities. My power is empty, but infinite. I don't think zero is infinite, my dude. From Twitch chat, it's PETA saying peak Sona 3 portable. So far, it's been pretty enjoyable. Granted, I, <laughs> granted, I haven't had to deal with any of the, the the time management yet, so we'll have to wait and see what my anxiety has to say. <laughs> what happened to Doctor Doofenshmirtz? Doctor Doofenshmirtz, if he got into psychology, confirmed. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. Does that mean that I have? Uh... A multiple personality disorder? I know it's, like, called something else, but, like, that's just for the joke. Like, if you have multiple... Well, or maybe I'm just a two-faced bitch. I'm, I have multiple personas. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. So I'm gonna steal my enemies' faces? There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Ominous? Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Sure. My spare time will soon be scarce. Okay. But please, come again of your own accord. Neat. I'll tell you then about my true role. The manner in which I can best assist you. If I recall, you helped with the fusing of personas. Ah, 
But before I forget, yeah. do you recall when I mentioned another resident of this room? Like your attendant, Tell I guess? Me, when you think of this person, what do you see? What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> Even the attendant has gender options. Uh, let's go with a matching set. I think it's a woman. I see. Then let's bring her out for a proper introduction. So you, uh, I get to modify them with my mind. My name is Elizabeth. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm, nice design. Like not totally. Also, although that is a kind of a silly looking hat there. <laughs> is he evil or wise? He looks kind of evil, but I don't know. I don't think he's evil. I think that. Maybe that's just what psychology does to a motherfucker. That he makes you bald and look evil. I think he's good, though. My assistant will aid you as well. Until then, farewell. Farewell, Igor! Hey, are you alright? Did time not move this time? Did time not time? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Uh, I was just talking to Igor. I opened this door and... Huh? What door? I, I don't see any door. Your eyes, you, you do not possess the knowledge. They don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. I'm special! Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Your vote of confidence is rousing. Don't worry, though. I got you covered whenever you need it, man. Come on, let's go. Well, help! You can check your own status by pressing the triangle button. Why is there a bike? <laughs> also, you can save your progress by accessing the clock in the left of the entrance. You can also pay money to heal by accessing this clock. Huh. Unknown device. What would you like to do? Check battle tips. Refreshers on battle are listed here. The available topics are... Gaining strength, huh? If you strike the enemy's weakness or get a critical hit, you'll knock them down. When this happens, you get a one more chance and can act again. You may perform a follow-up attack on the same enemy or attack another foe. If an enemy is knocked down and you knock down a different enemy, you'll be able to act yet again. Well, that's nice. Combo. In this way, you may attack as long as you continue knocking enemies down. If you attack a downed enemy's weakness point, they'll become dizzy and lose a turn. It is thus important to analyze your enemy's weaknesses to gain an advantage. You can analyze by asking your operator with the tactics menu or by pressing the L button. <laughs> asking my operator? If you knock down all the enemies, you may have the whole party perform an all-out attack. These are powerful, unavoidable, and extremely effective. Uh, exploration tips. If you press the square button while in Tartarus, you may order your party members to split up. While they are split up, they'll find stairs and escape points and retrieve items from treasure chests. If a party member encounters a shadow while split up, they will enter a battle. Party members tied up in battle cannot use field skills or change their equipment from the menu. You cannot use skills or items on party members who are too far away. Distant party members will have darkened portraits in the bottom right of the screen, so pay attention. Gaining strength. It's important to level up yourself to raise your HP and SP and to level up your personas to make them stronger. The persona equipped at the end of the victorious battle will gain experience and potentially level up. When a person levels up, not only do its stats increase, it will sometimes learn new skills. Kind of like uh, Orpheus learning Aggie, or probably just agility. To be effective in battle, it will need to have a strong skill set. Personas which have already acquired all of their skills, or personas that are not as strong as you'd like, can be fused at the Velvet Room. Through fusion, you can create new personas. If you have a social link matching the new persona's arcana, the new persona will gain bonus experience and rise to a higher level than predicted. Raising your social links as high as you can before fusion 
will allow you to fuse personas at their strongest. Things to look out for. Be careful of occasions when the layout of Tartarus changes and of your friend's health. When the layout changes, there is a high likelihood of finding more treasure chests, rare shadows, and other unusual effects. When you go to uh, invade Tartarus, remember to stay hydrated, everybody. These effects will disappear once you ascend to a new floor. The various states of health are good, great, tired, and sick. Great will enhance your effectiveness in battle, making it the best time to fight in Tartarus. However, tired and sick will make you weak and put you at a disadvantage. If you fight too much in Tartarus, you will be tired the next day. Staying tired may sometimes cause your condition to worsen into sick. At these times, be sure to cut your exploration short or do something to alleviate the exhaustion. Make sure that you are at your best during important battles. Interesting. The Velvet Room. What's this bike doing here? I keep equipment that helps me search for information in there. Please don't touch it. It's gonna be a bomb, isn't it? Well, I guess let's solve, eh? When this game opens up, it's gonna really open up, isn't it? Also, that is a fast save. I am envious. Since Yukari and Junpei have no real experience in battle, make sure you back them up. Don't worry, I won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. All right, let's do this. I'll prove that I should be in charge. So this is Tartarus. And I don't think that I have like any personas to diddly dee ball. Let's see. Ah, look at my persona. Isn't she great? Skill. I have Aggie. Ah, so like deals light fire damage to a foe. Strike damage to a foe. Hmm. Interesting. Dia. Interesting. Slightly restores HP. Cleave. Deals light slash damage to one foe and costs HP. Interesting. I have no items. I'm gonna die. I got a level two, Orpheus. This persona is already equipped. And here I thought Aggie was going to be like uh, agility. <laughs> Imitation Naginata, classical blouse, vamp loafers, and portable player. Practice bow, knit cardigan, brown loafers, and heart choker. Imitation katana, dress shirt, straight tip, and silver necklace. A replica, not meant for real combat. So it has a hit rate of 92 and an attack of 35. Huh, classical blouse actually has decent diddly D. A hip red colored music player. Check out my tunes, man. Tunes. Comfortable leather loafers gives me an evasion of four. Hmm, a hit of 30, attack of 36 and hit of 88. What about my, so, hmm, interesting. Heart-shaped choker. So my Naginata is probably the overall best. Status. I need to raise my stats. I want to be awesome. Then it just shows them. Oh, what are your personas? What the hell is that? Eo, Lovers, Patara, Hermes, Magician. I wonder if that also tells me, like, what these guys is, uh, like, uh, what's the word? Ba ba ba. Like, uh, per like, a persona tarot card thing is. Like, is 
uh, blah, 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 Yukari gonna be the lover's tarot, and he's gonna be magician? I don't know. Then again, the magician was probably a different person in the original, because you couldn't talk to your... You couldn't form social links with your, like, uh, male allies, if I recall, as in the original. Oh, a group that's... Yeah, actually, let's see the whole thing. But the boxing champ. Well, I guess that explains why he has the, the bandage. Senior executive's daughter. <laughs> Class clown. Popular and bright. Oh, wait, I forgot to look at system, or I am a fool. Quest glossary. Config. Erase data now. Quest. We have no quests. That apparently have deadlines. Oh, boy. Well, enough wandering around. Are you ready? Ready! Good luck. Tartarus, go to, for the following block. One block. Inside Tartarus. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. It's a maze, so I guess fair worry. Can you all hear me? Neat! Whoa, is that you, senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Hearing these English voice actors say senpai amuses me. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? She's magical! It's my persona's ability. Oh, neat. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. Neat. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location... Wait, how do you know? You I guess they only looked a little bit in. Minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Makes parfait. Why is she always like that? She's a weirdo. Well, now we're in hell. Let's begin. Keep in mind these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now see if you can eliminate all the shadows wandering around on this floor. Oh, a chest. Or I guess a... A, a suitcase. I wonder how much Mitsuru Senpai really understands us. Hmm. Okay, interact is just an everything button. Watch out, I detect a shadow in front of you. Move in and hit it before it attacks you. Press the X button to use your weapon. If you hit an enemy before it hits you, then you'll have the advantage at the start of the battle. Don't ask me why I gave the help boxes that voice. Takeba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Correct. Also, how did the place become this floating hellscape? Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? Sure! The primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Yeah. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. Because if I recall from my research, in original Persona 3, you could swap out to many different weapons, but in this one, you're relegated to a single, like, attack type. Those skills consume either stamina or spiritual power. They tend to have a greater effect. Use whichever option best suits the situation. This is some nice battle music. Hope it's not copyright. Enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? Uh-huh. Okay. Then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. Hmm. What if I want to analyze? I can ah. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Hmm. Is how much SP I have? Oddly enough, I have the most, it seems. If that is who I am at the top. Aggie! Persona! Shoot myself in the head. Attack again! Here's a chance. Let's get him! I'm all sure it's only one. Beat him up! Get back here, you son of a! Snuff soul! And I only got five experience for that. Oh, there's an enemy to the right. I think. I saw something pop up on the mini-map. 
There should be a staircase nearby. Do you see it? A staircase is the only way to proceed to the next floor. I can't allow you to go any higher today. But please remember about it next time. Yeah, I see it. There's another shadow ahead of you. You'll be at a disadvantage if the enemy gets the first hit in, so try to surprise your opponent and strike first. Help! If you are able to strike the enemy before you're spotted, then you will gain the initiative. On the other hand, if the enemy hits you first, the opposite will occur. Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties. Sure. Which are important to consider during battle. Do you want to know more? Yes. Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. For example, swords can be used to do slash attacks, while bows are used to do pierced attacks. Neat. Skills, on the other hand, have different properties. Bufu, for instance, indicates an ice attack. All right. Now, most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. Yeah, like Aggie did. In other words, they have weaknesses. A fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. Yeah. Do you follow? I do believe so. The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? And I learned it. Blast them! Attack again! Get them! Well, I guess. I don't know. Because I want to see if they have, like, a normal. Hmm, but I don't know. Now we'll do it. Let's be efficient. We're only here for one floor. You exploited the enemies. Here's our chance for an all out attack. Hmm. No, I want to. I want to so. test things out. I want to directly command you guys. That's what I wanted, because I knew that that's something we could do. Ah. Didn't know where your turn, when the enemy's turn came in. Let's go for a cleave. Oh, awesome. So it seems like attacks that do damage to yourself, like it costs HP to use them, do a great amount of damage. While SP is more strategical. And I got a revival bead. Very neat. Got more medicine. Very interesting. Oh, we can even use this out of battle. But I don't feel that scared right now. These things aren't doing much. There seems to be a shadow just around the corner. Approach carefully to avoid being spotted. The map will prove to be quite useful as you explore, so use it often. And I do see it. God, that's actually hard to see. Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? Yes. You didn't already notice. Doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Yes. Would you like more details? Sure. An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. <laughs> one more thing! You can keep attacking the same enemy. 
Or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again. Which means you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off mm. balance again. So if they pick themselves up... You can't knock down someone who's lost ah, on the ground, yeah. right? They get dizzy. Yeah. To knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Yeah, I do. Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Sure thing. I want to try something. I have the SP for it. So I'm going to knock them all down and not you because I want to try something. I want to use this as like an opportunity. Like, how does the enemy, you exploited the enemy's like, interact with being down? Like, you attacked the enemy's weak Each threw my SP though. You attacked the enemy's weak Here's a chance. Let's get him. No, because I want to try something. Huh? Why not? I want to see. Like, if they automatically get a turn to attack. Well, I guess. I could, like, leave one as, like. You on the far left. You'll be the control. I want to see if you use a turn to get up or something. Not skill, I want a normal attack. I should have used I should have waited. The enemy's already recovered. Okay. So they do act upon that. Next thing is if I can. But probably not because we'll do too much damage. You exploited the enemy's We'll have to hopefully there's another shadow, because I want to see what happens with like a dizzy. What happens if an enemy's dizzy? You struck the enemy's Here's our chance for an all-out attack! Yeah, sure, because they're going to be dead anyway. Explosion! Oh, shuffle time? What's this? Mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. Help! After battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the one shuffle before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you'll receive that persona. There are other cards, each of which has a unique effect of a reward. Keep an eye on the card you want to try and pick it. All right. Press the X button when your desired card is directly in front. Ah, start. Gotcha. You drew a card of the Persona Pixie. That's the wrong voice. I'm I'm stuck in the help mode. Oh no. You have welcomed Pixie into your heart. Is? Oh, Yukari's Persona Eo has leveled up. Strength increased by one. Ma has increased by one. In has increased by one. Junpei's Persona Hermes has leveled up. St by one. In by one. Lu by one. Neat. What is Snuffed Soul? Slightly restores an ally's SP. Neat. Is that out of battle so we don't waste turns? But I hope we run into another enemy that we... Well, obviously, because they probably would have said, Hey, get out of there. I detect a shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? If you or another party member is in bad shape, then use healing items prior to engaging the enemy. If you don't have anything on hand, then ask Ta Takaba to heal you. Press the triangle button to open the menu screen. From there, you can recover HP with skills and items. You can use your friend's skills from there as well. So feel free to do so while keeping an eye on their SP. Damn it. And now I'm the one on the back foot. 
Oh, and there's four of them. Shit. There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. The all out? You can perform an all out attack. Sure, let's hear it. When enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. They do. An all out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. Your enemies will be unable to defend against it. It's a whether or not you want to perform I skipped ahead. I'm a fool. attack is up to you. Mass destruction, playing battles. I don't know the name of any of the songs in this game. <laughs> I do like that you have the option. That kind of makes sense. It's not an all-out attack if you're alone. Make sure your team is comprised of at least two members. That's sure. all you need to know about all-out attacks. I've got it. That concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell What's you. What's that? Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can battle, sense. retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. I'll keep that in mind. This battle is one of those times. <laughs> oh, the game is nice. Hmm. Yes, the enemy is one more. Attack! I summon you. I want to try. Like, it, it would probably be smarter to do the all-out attack, but I want to see what a dizzied enemy like does on their turn. We can always test it another time. There's too many. In means endurance. Oh, no, I know that. I was just kind of funny aha you know, like how they abbreviated it. Ooh, shuffle time! Ooh! Select the cards after they have been shuffled. One on the left. Gotcha. You drew a card of the Persona Apsaris. I, I keep getting locked into help mode, I'm sorry. You have welcomed Apsaris into your heart. Or maybe that's just my shuffle time voice. Yukari's Persona Eo has leveled up. Magic. I presume it's magic. Endurance. And luck. That one's not very agile. Strength. Magic. Endurance. You'd think Hermes would be faster. More agility. But now I'm reminded. What of uh, the Personas? Oh, that's a signing. Yeah, because details. Ah, it's a lover's pixie. I wonder if we need to have them equipped or if they'll just be, like, in our inventory if they'll give us bonuses. Priestess. Ah, Bufu. I believe that's ice. Hmm, I wonder, like, uh, up there. Fire, ice, electricity, wind, something, something. Your strong electricity... Meanwhile, you're just weak to electricity and the uh, tentacles. But since we're fighting ones that are, like, uh, weak to fire, I should keep my Orpheus on hand. That's odd. Usually there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gain some experience in battle. Let's go back to the dorm for today. There should be an access point somewhere on that floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell the other party members that you'd like what you'd like them to do. But if they get too far away while they, while uh, split up, you will be we will not, you will not be able to use skills or items on them. Be careful of that. Help! Press the square button to issue orders to your allies. When your party members get too far away, their portrait at the bottom right of the screen will darken, and skills and items cannot be used on them. Also, party members may encounter shadows while split up. While they are in battle, you will not be able to change their equipment. Well, let's split up. Use this command to instruct your party members to spread out and look for stairs, access points, and items. However, if they are not in very strong, they can be easily fall prey to the enemy. Be sure to keep an eye on their HP. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Check out my fat loot. Well, he's going down the a way to not be worried about. 
I guess he found fat loot. I th hmm. Unless there's like, I don't know, an experience reason, but like, if you split up and like enemies or like uh, allies could maybe like uh, not get experience for fights, but that seems like a bad thing. I don't know. Good, you found the access point. Please return to the entrance. Okay. Here you go. A medicine. It seems you've returned to the entrance. Welcome back. Yes. So, how was it? Intriguing. No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. But damn, I'm beat. <laughs> that's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. <laughs> In danger zone. He was happy. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Interesting. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. We didn't die. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. In any event, by combining your powers with your teams, you were able to stand against the shadows. You feel a bond forming between yourselves. Huh? You felt the power of your heart intensify, as if reach, as if in reaction to the bond between your friends. The power of the fools. Rank two. Foolish personas level up now. Your power to create personas of the fool arcana has grown. Just like Yukari and Junpei, you feel tired as well. You decide that it would be best to return to your room and rest. Very interesting. I guess Save. I guess Velvet Room? Ah, there you are. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well, I suspect, suppose it's time for me to explain what I really do here. It is my job to create new personas. But in order to do so, I must fuse your persona cards together. In other words, I shall merge them into a single persona. The number of personas you have buried within you is approximately 170. We've never seen a visitor with this many possibilities before. If you establish social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas too. <laughs> this should prove very interesting. So as you accumulate cards, please bring them to me. If you wish to learn about fusing personas in more detail, then talk to me so that I may give you some hints. How may I help you? Leave. I look forward to your next visit. It's not like I could talk to him. Well, let's go back in. See if we can actually... How may I help you today? Fuse personas? Triangle spread? That seems weird. My role is to create new personas by fusing your existing personas together. I allow a new one to emerge. When a new persona is created, it tends to be of a higher level than the ones that were fused. However, personas that are fused are lost forever. Since the process requires multiple personas, you will be left with fewer than you had before. Which powers will you forsake in order to gain new ones? It is up to you to decide. Fusion accidents? I regret to inform you of this, but our powers are not perfect. Although rare, there are times when the cards are placed incorrectly, causing an accident. The resulting persona will most likely be different than what we anticipated. Please pardon us if this does occur. Are you familiar with the minor arcana cards? They depict coins, swords, and whatnot. Of those, the face cards the page, knight, queen, and king hold special powers. They are called incense cards, and they can enhance personas' abilities. 
These cards' effects can be passed on through fusion to new personas. If you happen to acquire one, you should give it a try. Skill cards? Skill cards let you seal skills and teach them to any persona. For example, if you were to use an Aggie card on a persona, that persona would then learn Aggie. Even if the skill is one that cannot be passed down through fusion, it seems personas can learn via skill cards. Also, if the persona you wish to teach the skill to already has eight skills in its current repertoire, you will be able to choose which skill to ch discard. I've also heard that skill cards can be copied somewhere. It would be best for you to learn about that yourself through trial and error. Interesting. Hmm, one, two, three. Four, five, six. I wonder what that even means. And apparently triangle spread is something else. Hmm, no idea, but we'll leave. <laughs> Very interesting. From now on, you'll select your party here before you enter Tartarus. I'll explain the details some other time. Tres bien, you did well today. Now let's head back to the dorm. You guys did, did a great job, but you won't have to shoulder the burden forever. If only I hadn't gotten injured. Dude, I can't take it anymore. I'm starving. I'm feeling tired. Let's go back. It's some kind of device you've never seen before. It doesn't seem to be functioning right now. Well, let's head back. The dark hour will soon be over. Help! It will be the next day when you stop exploring and return to the dorm. Would you like to return to the dorm? Return to the dorm! You decided to stop exploring and return to the dorm. But I definitely don't want to, like, uh, lose my current personas. I need to learn more about fusion and stuff before that. Morning. I didn't know uh, that we were on the same train. But man, things have been real crazy this past couple of days. Are you alright? You must be confused since you've just transferred here too. Just to uh, get in my head too, I'd say safe state at the beginning of days. Everything's flowing real nice. Hmm. I wonder what that means, I am. What would that lead to? Versus I'm alright. I don't think this, like, affects anything, but I don't know. I'd say I'm alright. Wow, that's impressive. You're completely different from Junpei. On the other hand, I'm so bored that I feel like I'm going to die. Is there any way I can sneak in on the fight? Maybe I could get past Mitsuru if I wear Junpei's hat? Oh, never mind. Consequences wouldn't be worth it. Although that would be funny. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. A student did this. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Oh boy. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from class 3D. Kirijo. Thank you. From 3D. That amuses me. So, she did get elected. She is the class council. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. She's gonna kill us one day, isn't she? You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, the school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? Ah, nepotism. As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. We will hang the teachers. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. How so? However, Change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. Like what? That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. 
<laughs> you all must <laughs> alter your daily lives for my plan. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. To imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. I don't know. It feels like you're waffling a bit. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. Your visions are wrong. Listen to me. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, that was freaking amazing. Ah, that felt med to me. Hey, did you understand what she was talking about? Waffle. It just felt like, commit yourself to the school. <laughs> what about you? Huh? Well, well, I mean, <laughs> what do you think? I'm like her. I'm just your average, normal high schooler. <laughs> Early morning, afternoon. All right, today we'll be going over the Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm tired of these textbooks. I just went over this novel in the last class. I've got a great deep poem we can cover instead. Close your textbooks, everyone, and listen. Isolated clouds suspended over the tall, snowy mountain peak. You feel tired. Stay awake. Get that academics in. All right, Kenji. You better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself taking a nap while I pour my heart into reading this poem. For that, you get another essay along with your regular assignment tonight. I'll expect a slice of cake when you turn it in, too. I feel like that's blackmailing your students to a degree. And don't cheap out the store. Bought stuff like last time. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. My academics has increased. Do I actually get to go around the school? Class has ended for today. Help! As of today, you'll be able to use your time after school as you wish. If you have established social links, you may wish to spend time with those individuals. Also, there are many places you can go to in the area to raise your charm, courage, and academics. Be sure to look around town as well as in the school. <laughs> your seat. Well, since we got to this point, emergency safe state in case things go weird. Do you tend to get lost in school? Well, I haven't gone around anywhere, so I'll say yes. Where are you headed? Hmm. Let's say that. Leave this room and go down the stairs to the right. All right, neat. The deadline for new members to join culture has already passed. But maybe the smaller clubs will uh, be recruiting new members soon. You know, rumor has, <laughs> rumor has it that the B button is convenient for getting closer to your destinations. I don't know where you'd find that B button, or not B button, square button, though. You're the transfer student everyone's talking about, right? The one who moved into the dorm where Akihiko-senpai lives? I've always wanted to talk to you. I'm sure. Really great. And could you be a pal and tell me everything about Akihiko-senpai? His favorite foods, his type of girl, how he spends his days off, and... <laughs> I don't even know any of that. Uh, his favorite type of girl, uh, maybe a shadow. Being on a diet sucks. Maybe you didn't notice, but I look different than I used to. Weird. I hear that starting on the 24th, some athletic teams will be recruiting new members. Just the volleyball team and the tennis team, though. The others are full. If you're interested in joining, we sh why don't you go check it out? Go down the stairs to the right and eventually you'll find it. Dude, Mitsuru-senpai's speech this morning was crazy. I heard no one was even close to her in the election. Considering her background, I don't know what why they bothered. Let's face it, we're all just plain ordinary compared to her, man. I feel like I should do, like, a save state before talking to anybody named. In case they're like, would you like to hang out and use the time? My parents always nagged me to, like, study for exams and stuff. They're so annoying. I just became a junior. I'm supposed to be having fun. They just came into some money, so they're getting all strict about my future and junk. Emergency exit? It's locked? That's not good. That's not supposed to happen at all. The flowers seem like they're about to wilt. Well, apparently they're gonna die. Oh, 
PA room, classroom 2F, 2E. When you were absent, there was an election for student council president. Mitsuru Senpai's speech was so cool, I voted for her. Everyone else looked so small compared to Mitsuru Senpai. Ah, Mitsuru Senpai. She said she's going to quit being a high schooler. Well, it's her life, not mine. How do you quit being a high schooler? School's barely started, and there's already been a student who quit. She only had two years left. What will she do if students don't, uh, doesn't even graduate from high school? Better. Apparently, I can't go in there. This is the student council room. The room is locked. Men's room, ladies' room. What is my status, anyway? I just realized I'm good. Maybe if I go... <laughs> I don't know. It's like, the, the bathrooms have to have a purpose. And I'm just like, hmm, maybe they affect me some way. Oh, wait, what's my status? I'm good. I don't know. It's like, these have to have a purpose. Right? Hi there, welcome. Hmm, you seem interested in what gone sale. You must be a new student. I just uh, died again. Hmm. I'm gonna make a safe state just to see if I can learn about these by selecting them. Or if they'll be like, oh, are you sure you wanna buy that? Or if it just instantly buys, because my money is valuable and I wanna learn. So let's see. I'll, g I'll see what it is. It's the most, like, one of the most expensive things. Cures an ally's fatigue. I guess I'll keep that. So at least, like, if somebody gets tired, I can cure them. Schedule is posted from the first term. So April 13th to April 17th, student council election. Mm, the next, I, I'm terrible with months. Midterms, finals, post-exam break, summer break begins. Ah, this. Art room. I'm gonna explore some. They're saying who you who haunts two hairs at once will catch neither. That means a student like you who's always trying to do two things at once will. The teacher continues to scold the student. He sounds like he knows what he's saying, doesn't he? Well, listen to this. Last year he was dating two women at the same time. But the thing is, they work together. And when they found out, they both dumped him. So I feel like that's pro projecting. It wouldn't be wise to enter without a good reason. No exam results. It's the library. The door is locked right now. I came here because I'm not feeling too good. I just wanted some cough drops, but he gave me this weird looking medicine. I wasn't in the mood to, uh, to gather my courage, so I declined. And he busted out another weird medicine that I'd never seen before. It's the nurse's office. Let's go in. How can I help you? Mm -hmm. However, keep in mind that you are interrupting my um, scholarly pursuits. You seem healthy enough. My eyes cannot be deceived. Now get back to class. It seems he will only see you if you're sick or tired. Oh, cool. Keep that in mind. From my from my YouTube chat. Hello, sorry I'm late for the live stream. No problem at all. That's why I try to upload these uh, like VODs at a decent time so people can catch what they missed. This music's just nice. There's a note on the door. It appears to be a mixture of Japanese and some other language. In order for you to understand it, you need to improve your ar academics. You must at least be average, and I'm dumb. It seems the room where the mu uh, music club meets. There's a note on it that says, Sorry, but the music club is no longer accepting new members. It seems to be a dark room for the photography class. I thought it said science. There's a note that says, Sorry, but it is no longer accepting new members. By the way, the sign on the door to the home economics looks like it was written in another language. It's hard to read. It doesn't look like English. And if you listen close, you can hear a mysterious voices inside. It's one awfully mysterious home economics class, let me tell you. No new members. That door is locked. What do you want? I'm using my cell now. Talk to me later, okay? What the f- What is this, ancient Greece? 
A small tree is growing here. You wonder what kind of tree it is. It's a persimmon! That tree seems special for some reason. I wonder why it's there. Does it commemorate something? So that's first floor. First floor. They're all the first floors. The girls' volleyball club seems to be using the gym. Would you like to observe? Hmm. No for now. Because I think that might spend my time. The swim team seems to be using the pool. It seems that this school only has a men's swim team. The girls' tennis club seems to be using the field for practice. Hmm. So you have volleyball and tennis. Yeah. I see you're playing as the Persona 3's Fim C. Yep. Because, like, if you're gonna play Persona 3 Portable, might as well do, like, the ultimate unique feature. Hmm. Because I don't know if it'll use my time or not. It asks me if I wanted to observe. Save state. Just in case. Like, what does observing do? Gecko Ken High School Gym. You watch the volleyball team. Everyone's having fun. Well, that didn't seem to use my time. Let's see if that... I mean, after school... Yakukin High School Field. You observe the tennis team. Everyone is having fun. That better not have used my time, because that was nothing. Why even have the, like, would you like to observe? I don't know. And then I think we're back yep, here. Interesting. We can go to the... Interesting how we get from, like, the second floor... Back to the main lobby. I guess it's just you. Interesting. Well, I guess to the entryway. I don't think there's anything else that we have to click on. You ran into Jinpei at the entrance and decided to go home with him. There's a commotion at the front Wait, gate. The ah, he's the popular guy. Wait for us. <sighs> just go full JoJo's on them and call them bitches and they'll swoon over you even harder. Look at that. I hear they're always swarming Akihiko Senpai like that. I know, he's the captain of the boxing team, but... <laughs> the captain of the boxing team. Captain of the concussion club. I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. I wonder where they're going. Are you gonna go hey, watch, too? guys free this afternoon? Huh? Who, us? <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> he, he sounds so uncertain. I want the two of you to meet me. Polonia Mall. Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. Okay. See you there. I will have committed a crime. I'll need you to break me the, out. The, the police station? Uh, are your friends gonna come along too? Who? These girls? I don't even know their names. <laughs> they talk so much they give me a headache. Ah, that's why he has the bandage. Then again, that could just be the concussions from being at the boxing club. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. Because he's the box man. Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Well, guess we gotta go. He likes combat more than Sheesh. girls. Talk about putting a damper on a guy's afternoon. The police station at the Polonia Mall. You decide to head there of Junpei. Let's see, talk to everybody. Hey, I read those ghost stories that were being spread around school on the internet. You know, the ones about those students who died, became ghosts, and ate humans. Wait, how would anybody know they ate humans? There wouldn't be any remains. Eyewitness accounts. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Hagakuri. Neat for you. Uh... The female student continues to sigh. I have a strange feeling that someone's watching me. It's me, God, and the PS5. Oh. Shrine? Well, he said not to keep him waiting. So I guess let's go ahead and go. 
Let's go to the police station first, man. This seems to be the police station. Let's see, will he bother us if I talk to people? Oh my, how did I forget to buy shampoo? No rush, just wait for the sale. Isn't Saturday the sale at the day at the Al Rige Pharmacy? All right, so Saturday is sale day. And it is Wednesday. Oh my. Oh, they, they're, they're a single one, a single lady. Ah, hello, say. Have you heard anything about this business of ordinary healthy people changing overnight? Yeah, I've heard about it. Well, obviously, it's all over TV. Everywhere you look, you see young couples. So what are you waiting for? Go after someone! You're still young. You've got no excuse not to get together with someone sweetie of your own. Are you here for the arcade? If you want to know about the games here, I can tell you about them. Sure. Uh, you can play the quiz game today or try the fortune teller machine. The quiz game is pretty difficult. It's a good way to improve your academics. I'm not sure what good the fortune teller machine does, but I hear you gain some kind of magic powers. Well, that about covers it. That's all they have? Interesting. Well, uh, let's go to the police station, I guess. Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. He looks sketchy. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. He gave us the fake weapons. And this is from Ikutsuki san. Really? Sweet! You and Junpei received 5,000 each. You can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections. How does. He has connections, and he's willing to use it to sell illegal things to kids. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. So he just brought us here to tell us I've about you. I'm informed about you, too. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. So he knows that we're able to do something about it, so he equips us with things. Hmm. I'm only doing what I think is right. For money. I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. By whose equipment? That seems a little odd. Spirit Ring. Increases max HP. HP. Luck increases. Agility. Very interesting. Hmm. Rash Guard. A highly elastic shirt. High-tech sandals. Boots of thick soles. Hmm. Like, uh, I'm not sure, because, like, for boss fights, armor would probably be good, but it's not, like, that crazy a, a bump. Well. But then again, the evasion might be nice. Also depends on like our individual ones. Stats. Hmm. Cause that's just a two point increase. While that increases a lot and puts a dent in my money. Trying to decide like what I would want to buy. Oh, I can also show info. Hmm. 
because and I just do not know because accessory like seems nice ish like these bands seem kind of meaningless to me because hmm. I should probably buy something because, like, I get the most out of upgrading my Naginata. Because that increases it by four hit. Well, yeah. Four hit rate and then four attack. But then armor. Hmm. I wonder what the difference is. Like, a highly elastic shirt, rubber soles. Hmm. I'll buy these. Yes. Buying confiscated goods. Who confiscated a Tsukushi Naginata? Ah, you know what? I'm gonna buy one for me. Because that's like a decent bump to stats. And I can't buy anything else. Only 5,000 yen. I'm gonna take off since I'm in a bad mood now. Later. What do you mean, later? Like, bad mood? What do you mean, bad mood? You gave your money to buy weapons with. And I don't even think that you bought anything. But what's this bulletin board? There's a bulletin board in front of the police box. There's nothing posted on it right now. B Blue V, a Chagall Cafe. It's an antique store. However, it seems to be closed. It'll be open on June 9th. Welcome. Dispels panic, fear, and distress. Oh, hey, a revival bead. I have one of those. The competition between different pharmacies is heating up. I've got to make my store more unique or I'll be sunk. I'm starting by making Saturday a regular sale day. Come out this weekend and support my store. I'll keep that in mind. How do I make money, I wonder? Power Records, the store's variety of music. Game Panic. Help, you can spend time in the various shops around town. Many shops will raise your charm, courage, or academics. If they're high enough, you may meet the people. The games you can play here can raise your academic's charm, courage, or one of your equipped persona stats. Hmm, no, not yet. There is a mysterious door in a quiet alley. Oh, the velvet room is accessible here. Neat! Hmm. And Elon, here's a fun fact in the... Place uh, Persona 3 Reload, the old original voice actor of Akihiko, uh, yeah, of Akihiko has been recast as the officer of Kurosawa in the remake. That's kind of cool. Healing Shop, B Blue V, our special 3,000 yen program will send you to heaven. Anyone tired will feel better, and anyone alright will feel great. Your health can be improved here. Also, you can work part time here after school or during the afternoon on Monday through Friday. It seems you can work part-time here Monday through Friday. Hmm, not yet. I want to learn. Chagall Cafe. Pheromone Coffee 500, a charming flavor that will turn on your charm. The famous Pheromone Coffee can help increase your charm. Also, you can work part-time here on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights. Ah, it seems you can only work part-time here on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 
Oh, I thought it was Wednesday. I am a fool. 422, but what day is it? It's not open yet. Mandragora? Karaoke solo. Don't be shy, belt it out. Singing karaoke or karaoke here by yourself will help build up your courage. Well, let's, uh, explore. I'll probably go back to the mall and spend time there. Doesn't seem like there's anybody else. Because I doubt, like, uh... Yeah, I think we already explored, so there wouldn't be anything new. But I shall explore around. Station outskirts. Vending machine. Welcome to Raphlesia. Oddly enough, we don't sell Raphlesias here. Trust me, you wouldn't want one. Why'd you call it that, then? Do you like movies? I love movies. Me too, movies kick ass. I love them because they're like a microcosm of real life. Screenshot Movie Theater. Screenshot Movie Theater presents an original program high school students for, yeah, 1,500. You'll be able to raise your academics, charm, and courage stats here by watching movies. The movies shown here will change every day. You can also work here during the day on your days off from school. I don't have the money for it anyway. Restrooms? I forget. Someone seems to be cleaning the bathroom. The best part of this station is its size and how we close and how close it is to the ocean. We're proud of it. I personally like it a lot. What about you? It's pretty nice. Wonderful. I'm glad you like it. The weather is nice today. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's a cat. Meow. You better get out of here before you get into some deep shit. What's a chick like you doing here? Mahjong Club? Cigarette smoke and a nervous tension fill the air. It's dark down there. Oh, go back. I want to explore. Let's see. <laughs> they both lead to the same place. <laughs> hmm. So, I'd like to ask you, how much do you know about the world's lore of the Persona series? I don't know much lore. Not much lore at all that I know about. My friend has a cat, and it's so cute. I want one, too, but my mom hates animals. Kill her. Mystery burger. The ingredients are a secret. You'll need a bit of courage to eat here. You can increase your courage here by trying the new mystery burger. Bookworms. Close for termites extermination. As you can see, I'm just a salaryman. I'm not just skipping work. Octopia? Hi there. Our tokiyaki is delicious and it's only 400 yen. It's our own special recipe of no octopus. <laughs> well, okay, want some? Not right now. Let's head to the second floor. Sweet shop. Ramen. You can increase your charm by eating the pork and soy sauce ramen here. I need to remember all this. Get smarter while you digest? You can increase your academics here by eating the prodigy platter. No. Book on. Mangas are stacked to the ceiling. Another vending machine. Beat ball. It's too crowded right now. 
to the town map. I'll need to make use of that more. Naganaki Shrine? Hmm. The water looks crystal clear. It's a huge tree. It's some Inari Sushi. When you join hands and wish in front of the small shrine, you can give away one of your skill cards and receive two in return five days later. I don't have any skill cards, though. It's an operatory box. By leaving money in the operatory box, your academics will increase. If you're in great condition, the increase will be even higher. Time will pass. Kind of interesting, but I want to wait till I'm in a great condition. That's the fortune box is under repairs. <laughs> From YouTube chat? Okay, got it. Next question. Do you also know about what personas are? And also about persona users? Well, Igor said that personas are like a representation of a person's psyche. And I'm special that I have like infinite potential for it all. So, nothing deep. And uh, next up is Persona 3 Portable, your first Persona game. Technically, I did play Persona 4 Golden a bit, but I got to, like, the first or second uh, palace and, uh, like, uh, tried to do it in a single day and, like, uh, got stuck and said, like, oh, I'll come back later. And then I did not. Which kind of works out because then I get to play this as my first, like, full experience. If you go back into the dorm, then it will automatically become nighttime. I will not go back yet. Well, I guess we'll go to Paloon Mall. But like, uh, so far I'm liking this. It's interesting. From Twitch yet, I'm actually liking how this is point and click adventure for the social aspect. It is kind of nice, because wandering around this place in 3D while interesting, I'm not sure, like, uh, how super great I would take it. Hmm. Because this guy said... various arcade games inside. Because he said, well, let's talk to you again. Sure. It's a good way to improve your academics. And then there's the fortune teller. I wonder if it's just academic increase there. It'd be kind of funny if it was just like, you can only increase your academics here. Compared to like the movie place. And then I can like... Like a... Uh, only go here as a... Yeah, it seems you can only work here part time on those days. And apparently it is not one of those days. Meanwhile, B Blue V. We can work part time here. Which would be good because I would like to raise my money up. So I just wonder. Hmm. Where should I work, I wonder? Or should I spend my time elsewhere? I don't have much money. The main character can access over 150 personas. Yep. Like Igor said, I have like, uh, what is it called? The, per the potential of zero. Hmm. that you can just walk in and work places. Hmm. Karaoke solo. Oh yes, I forgot the pharmacy guy. Can't I <laughs> can't I work at your pharmacy? I can prescribe things to people, obviously. It's the best way. You'll just let a kid work here. Hmm. 
Because I would like... So like... Because this increases... Like, a, he's, I think he said, like, increases your academics, I think. Yeah, improve your academics. Hmm. Then elsewhere... Port Island Station, I think, didn't have anything except for, like, places I couldn't go and then, like, the movie place. Is there any place I could work here? Because there's Wild Duck Burger. I think it said increases courage by eating there. Oh, yeah, closed for termites. Any personas you have the favorites of? I only have three right now. I only have Orpheus. Orpheus is cool. Orpheus is neat. Then I just got Pixie and Apsaurus. And, uh, I'm sorry, Orpheus just looks so awesome compared to these two. Even though Apsaurus is apparently a higher level. How dare you. <laughs> From YouTube chat. Hey, Neon, do you also know about the manga anime series called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? That I do. I know about Haman. I know about stands. Oh my god, personas are basically just stands. How did I not think of that? Be full. Sweet shop. That's busy. Hakakuri Robin is eat there. Get smarter while you digest. Well, I guess I'll just go and work at B Blue V because I want to raise, like, I want to raise my money. I want to raise my money, work there part time. Because I want to buy stuff for everybody, so let's work there part time. Work part-time. Pol Polonia Mall. Healing shop. B Blue V. You sweat it out working part-time by selling healing items. You're crammed information about charm stones in order to improve your sales pitch. Oh, my academics increased! Neat! You feel as if your heart has been <laughs> cleansed by the constant healing music playing inside the store. Oh, my charm increased! Neat! Obtain 3,500 yen work for part-time. I'll be able to get another item there. That's female Orpheus, by the way. Oh, it, it's a different Orpheus? If you play as male, that's cool. I like that detail. It's getting dark out. You decided to go back to the dorm. But I do like that so many different things, like, apparently raise your stats. You can eat at the different food places. This is cool. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak to you for a moment regarding your exploration of Tartarus. Akihiko is still on the men, so for now I'd like you to lead the team. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear like the one you faced the other day. It's best to be prepared or else you may find yourselves in a difficult situation. So whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, just let me know and I'll gather everyone here. Uh, everyone there. Also, since I'm sure there are other things you'll need to take care of, you might go out at night if you need to. Well, that's it. Keep up the good work. I can go out at night? You are now able to go out at night! But what does that mean? I can go out at night. I'm intrigued by everything. <laughs> Tuesday. Huh, so it's a Tuesday. I thought it was a Wednesday. I need to learn, like, where it says, like... Because, like, what's that W up there? What does the W mean? I know it says 422, but if it's Tuesday, then tomorrow will be Wednesday. Who was, the immediate, who was immediately sent to the hospital? The man has regained consciousness, but due to his condition, has been unable to speak. Police are waiting the man's recovery before questioning him. And that's the news for today. I get pretty tired after we go to Tartarus. I feel like I spent all day hiking up Mount Fuji. What about you, Neon? I feel fine. Wow, you're tougher than I thought. Hey, you know that thing we used to summon our personas, the Evoker? Well, I was thinking, why does it have to look like a gun? I mean, you gotta be a little nutty to point a gun at your head and pull the trigger, you know? You gotta be suicidal. Officer Kurosawa doesn't have the potential to enter the dark hour. He's just an ordinary policeman. But he knows about us and helps us when he can. How'd you meet him? He helped me out a while ago. He's someone you can count on. That didn't answer my question at all. 
Who did you choose for, uh, for your Velvet Room su uh, supervisor, Elizabeth or her brother? I chose Elizabeth. Because I was like, I just figured, now ah, let's go with the matching set of girls. How shadows came into this world is still a mystery. I used to be a researcher for Kiri Joga Electronics. That is the primary reason why I am the chairman of the board. And that is also what makes this dormitory such a convenient location to conduct cease activities. Oh, you should also be aware that I am unable to summon personas. However, in order to perform my research, I was taught how to enter the Dark Hour. You can teach it? So if you need any help, please uh, do not hesitate to ask. Of course, I cannot be of any help. <laughs> what do you mean, I cannot be of any help? You weird little man. The titles contain many esoteric terms that you can't understand. They seem to have to do with psychology and psychoanalysis. It's a bank of consoles. You don't know how to use it, but it seems very advanced. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll save again. And then make a safe state, because I can. Now I can wander around at night, aka, just the Polonia Mall. I want Hey, lady. Ah, uh, hello, say. Let's say no. Hey, you don't sound concerned at all. How can you not know about this? You live here. Who lives here? God? Game panic. Various arcades are inside. Stay until midnight. Interesting. So you can stay until midnight. Interesting. You can spend the night working part-time there? Ooh. Places open up. Okay, it seems they're closed for the day. I am very intrigued. Is there, like, a penalty for going, uh, like, out about at night? Or, like, uh... Because it feels like that would be a thing. That they would, like, oh, you want to do things at night? Well, we're going to punish you for that. Because mm, I could work or I could go to Tartarus. Playing games can help increase your persona stats or uh, increase your academics, courage, or charm. Very interesting. Or work part-time at the coffee shop. Which, if... B blue V is anything would also increase the stat, which is cool. Hmm. Now the question is, do I go to Tartarus? Hmm. I, I kind of want to go to Tartarus. I don't know. I'm very split. I'm still a timid, plain slacker. I'm one experience away from leveling up. How dare you? How dare you? Hmm. Because I did have a save state, so I guess I could, like, go check it out, see how things go. Because hmm. right now, doing things at night would basically be increasing persona stats or... Like, doing things at the arcade, or working a job. Actually, I just realized, I should be able to look at the status of everybody. She's good, he's good. I want to go to Tartarus. Yes, how can I help you? Ah, oh, let's talk. Those who are unable to experience the Dark Hour are transmogrified during the time. They appear as coffins. Shadows are quite enigmatic. 
They only attack those who have not been transmorgified. Shadows feed in the minds of their victims, leaving them unable to speak. We call this apathy syndrome, and those who suffer from this incapacitating affliction are known as the lost. Choices, choices, so many choices indeed. Because if I can, like, it would be cool if I could say, hey, go to Tartarus tonight, do something until midnight, then go to school at midnight. But everyone can go tonight. Well, let's go to Tartarus. And then it, ah, then it immediately activates. So choices, choices indeed. I want to go to Tartarus and level up and stuff. I want to adventure. And see what happens if, like, an enemy gets dizzied. As we explore Tartarus, this will be our temporary base of operations. I'm counting on you. Oh, hey. Oh, for a moment it looked like Kurosawa was here. But I am liking this game so far. Granted, we haven't hit the uh, super-duper worry-about-everything moment yet. I'll stay here and provide support. Now, is there anything I can do for you? You've explored two levels in this tower. Please proceed as far as you can. When you go to Tartarus after a leaving, you go straight to the next day. Gotcha. I was more thinking, like, could I tell everybody to go to Tartarus and then do things until midnight and then do it? But no, if you want to go to Tartarus, you go, you go. Let's get going. <laughs> Remove from party? Rude. Well, let's go to Tartarus. Are you ready? No, but let's go. By the way, I found out something else about Tartarus. A few floors up, there's a barricade preventing you from going any higher. How do you know that? I guess maybe your persona power? The tower seems to have a number of these interspersed amongst its floors. I know I told you that the layout changes each day, but these barriers seem to be fixed locations. Therefore, I'd like you to try and reach the first barricade, but don't push yourself too hard. If you go back in from the entrance, you'll be able to resume from the highest floor you previously reached. I'll give you these two just in case. Ah, snuff soul and medical powder. And Tresto Gym, Trafuri Gym, Cadenza? If you run into danger, don't hesitate to use them. I'm counting on you. Neat. Let's go. Give me a moment. I'll check to see what's beyond this floor. I detect a great source of power above you. It's still relatively far away, but keep your guard up nonetheless. Interesting. Let me look at my items. Enables escape from dungeon. Guaranteed escape from de most battles. Restores HP and agility up. And then I bought that. I'm going to keep my team with me. Okay. That was my bad. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. Use Aggie. Oh. Are you just... Was that a crit or... Nope, these guys are just weak. Wait, was that Rush? I wonder what that is. Interesting. Quite interesting. These guys are weak in here. You felt a surge of energy inside you after the recent battle. Your hit points and spirit points have increased. You're now able to create personas up to level 4. As for when an enemy gets knocked down, not dizzy by the way, it takes them a turn to get back up. Which is odd, because it felt like, uh, I, like, knocked enemies down, and they, like, were able to act immediately. But that, I don't know. Interesting. Player advantage. What the- Three enemies detected. Strike first. You're new. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Well, I guess... I doubt this will fully work, but Aggie. Ah, uh, 
Rush just lets them uh, go to auto auto attack. Gotcha. Hmm. Cleave, but I think his weapon is also just like cleave normally. So. Three enemies remain. Well, I guess we'll get you out of here. You know what? I'm curious. Let's bash you. It seems to have multiple weaknesses. So weak to a lot of things, but not fire. Gotcha. Merciful Maya. Now we're not gonna put more health on the line. Darn it, it lived. Run? Coward! Keep up the good work. How dare you run? Something inside you has changed. Orpheus is leveled up. Increase, increase, increase. Orpheus gave you something. Ah, the skill card Aggie. Skill cards are items your personas can use to learn the skills sealed within the cards. A skill card will disappear once you use it, but the skill it teaches can be passed down through fusion. Neat. Most of, uh, most all of Persona series lore is created by Atlas. I would expect that, but at the same time, Sometimes companies like just make games and do- Oh, that's a lot of money. Nice. Maybe not a lot, but still nice. It takes ideas and inspiration from Jungian psychology and his work about human nature. That I do believe I also knew. But still, pretty cool to use like uh, various kinds of like inspiration out there. Even if I think uh, Jungian psychology has been pretty much, like, discarded. Oh, that was close, I think. Three enemies I should have put on my Blizzard down. user. Well, I guess I'll use Bash. That's weird. Why are they running? Let's go ahead and cleave. Evoke! Has defeated an enemy. Last one. Last oh, critical! Nice! Beat him up! You can select a Persona's mid-battle. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hmm, I could use uh, an extra fairy for fusion. Thank you. Oh, that's mean. I can't have duplicates. How dare you? Hmm. Ah. Oh, no, I didn't. Regroup. I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to select that. I meant to hit this button. Gotta get good at doing things. Bash! Two enemies detected. Hmm. Speaking of bash, I feel bash. I shall go ahead and cleave you. No running. That was easy. <laughs> Thumbs up. Ah, more money. I always like more money. If you have one person that's already in your arsenal, you can't have a second one regardless of it having different abilities. Which is why partly, I guess, fusion is such an important thing to keep in mind.
Gotcha. Idiot. I really should. Oh, there we go. Side. And I know your weakness. I know your weaknesses, idiot. But I don't know the other's weaknesses. But I wonder. Let's try this. It keeps my turn? Oh, oh, oh. The beauty of strategy. Let's go for the perfect. Oh, I love this. Strategy. Shuffle time, bitches. What's the broken one? I kind of want the... I don't know if the broken one is good or not. Because I can't get another pixie. Damn you. I want all. Mm. Uh, for more chat, most of the latest game series in Persona, such as P3, P4, and P5, have their own different ways of how to awaken and summon powers of Persona. And it's based on the story's theme. That's kind of neat. Hmm. Don't pick it. You lose bonuses if you do. Okay. Then I'll try to go for the green. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't game. I selected the proper one. You just didn't want to give it to me. I wanted the green thing. The game was mean. Ah, learned a new thing. Pata, Patra. At least I didn't lose anything. But sad that I missed out a shuffle time thing. Very rude game. Let's learn what your skill is. Dispels panic, fear, and distress. Very nice. Bash! Two enemies detected. Strike first. And I shall save. Oh! Beat him up. But luckily there was nothing you lost. Sometimes in the future you'll get a second chance at the shuffle. Hmm. Ah, another shuffle time. Alright, I want to go for the... Crystal on the left. You. You. Arcana coin, rank one. The obtained card has brought you good fortune. Obtained 540 yen. Nice. This whole place is like a maze. Even the access points seem to be randomly distributed. If you feel like you're in danger, don't hesitate to run. Or return. I mean, basically the same thing. You look like a tiny shadow. What the fuck are you? One enemy detected. Strike first. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Your face makes me think that you'd be weak to fire. Oh, Chris. Yes. The enemy is Let's get him. Let's beat him up. Another tough time. Maybe I should have let it go a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to assume that the red is a attack buff. I want money. Money! Bash. Two enemies detected. Luckily, my fire is good. Aggie. I 
want to test things. Huh? Why not? From YouTube chat. Hi. Hello. Hello. We are adventuring through Tartarus. Last one. Get bow and arrowed. You feel a surge of energy inside. A level up. Huzzah. What are you? It's a rare chest. Rugged Gita. What's a Gita? I guess, it's, I guess it's an equipment, so it's not here. An ordinary pair of loafers. Maybe if I go back to item and... Ah, here we go. Rugged Gita. A manly pair of Gita for men. And increases endurance. Alright, because I was on the wrong person. It can only be equipped by Junpei. Here you go, have Rugged Gita. Get running in. The stairs are there. Let's ignore them as we explore. That was close. It was up on the wall. What the fuck are you? Don't get careless. We mustn't be careless. Considering your face. I'm going to assume that you're weak to this. At least one more. I'm going to be an SP just Delida. All my SP is going to go away. Get smacked. Shuffle time! Alright, let's try to go for the battle upgrade. Gotcha! Oh, imitation katana. I can sell that. I can get items. Ooh. You're playing a dangerous game. One enemy detected. It's only one of them, so I'm not too skit. Oh! I don't know what that was. Kill. <laughs> Home run with a sword. The animations are neat. Rubber soul. Well, let's quickly go to item. Let's see. Rubber soul. Boots of thick soul. We'll give that to... Yukari. Huzzah. And we can just be in here forever. Oh, that was close. Two enemies detected. Ah, uh, you know what? A uh, swap. I do like that I can swap personas in mid-battle without penalty. I'll go ahead and bash you. Only one remains. Only one remains. Go ahead and cleave. Although, hilariously, that's about as much damage it would have done to him if he got hit. The big one, though, the big one, though, scares me. Big one scares me. I will use, uh, actual thing. Then again, actually, idea. Well, first things first, let me see. Four, I can do it, so... 
analyze. To analyze the enemy. I'll blast the other one. Ah, uh, it doesn't work that way. I was hoping to get more information on him. Muttering Tiara. Yep, this is indeed a blind playthrough. I have not played this game before. And I, at least I don't think that I know, like, any developments. The most I knew were, like, mechanical things from researching which version of this game to play. Because they couldn't be nice and just let us make a definitive version that had all the content. Oh, you got a new thing, Garu. Do you now have Aggie? Or you're one more away. Ah, you got Aggie now. Nice. Nice to have options. And in chat, for P3, their story is about Memento Mori, which translates into uh, saying, Remember death. Remember one day you will die. Guess that explains the guns. That's how it inspired the Persona Summoning with gun-like evokers. Schmack. Two enemies detected. I probably should have analyzed you. Pokemon is in danger. Well, that's not good at all. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Ooh, get light, diddly dee. Heal. Kind of wacky that. Well, that's a persona. I'll go ahead and use Aggie on you. Jerk. Ah, miss. You are very meek. Well, apparently the analysis is coming in no time soon. Hmm. Get smacked. So analysis definitely feels like it's good for bosses. Takes a bit. Ooh, shuffle time. We already have that, so we want a green. Green, green, green. Your experience increased. Nice. An enemy spawned. Probably shouldn't have done that. Three enemies detected. They appear distressed. I wonder why they're distressed. I'll go ahead and blast you. And I'll just smack the most distressed. For critical power. You haven't been using your SP. Aggie him with the power of gun and arm bat. how an enemy spawned behind me. Should probably use my skills to... like... heal us. And I feel slightly safe going on without too much SP. Did we explore all the way up here? We did. And another enemy spawned in. Let's take him down. Damn it, I am a fool. Three enemies. We're at a disadvantage. At least it's not the Oh, you're weak. Well at least we'll knock these two down. Or kill them outright. Down. 
better than I thought. If I take down this one. Oh, I'm the one that got knocked down. Neat. At least I think I am. With the power of imitation bows. Then I do believe we should go up here. And probably then leave, maybe? Oh, it seems that powerful foe above you is closer than I thought. If you don't think you're ready, then don't test your luck. Reading this map is a little wonky. Hmm. I wonder if I can just go backwards. yourself hmm. nope no way to go back nope and I got hit for it I'm a fool At a disadvantage. Actually, we're at a good advantage because there's three of us and three of them. Well, that's a bastard. Try win. Ah, nice. They're weak. Only one remains. Way to go, you can die. I can do it. You blasted. Ooh, a shuffle time. And we're going for green again. You? It's that last diddly D that. That last swap that freaks me out. Huzzah. Ooh, something inside me has changed. Ah. And you got Posumudi. Oh, gave me something. I got Bufu from... Ooh, nice. Very nice. Imitation Naginata. I can sell that. Okay. I'm going to make... A save state in here on a different state. Purely so I don't, like, presumably I'm going to think that we're on the same floor as a boss. And I don't want to run into the boss. If I die to normal enemies, well, sucks to be me. I just don't want to run into boss enemies. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. But we mustn't be careless, and I have no... Dilly D. Well, actually, I should have. Oh well. Try and kill you. Damn it. Three enemies remain. But with Aggie, I can take out these two. Unless you miss. But no, they're weak. You are weak to the power of Aggie. Another enemy down. Also, Neon, do you wonder how the evokers work and why it looks like a gun? Hmm. Well, I guess if it's an evoker, it's meant to be, like, evoking something. It probably has something psychological to it. Like, to summon our personas, they, it needs a psychological aspect. Maybe, and if it's the theme is Remember Death. Two distressed enemies detected. Feels like there's only one distressed enemy. One more. Last one. 
Let's one. Let's Garu you. We're already doing triple digit damage. And getting low on resources. It wasn't even on my screen, but I get it. Two distressed enemies detected. Get distressed, idiot. One more. Yeah, we'll just take you out normally. For the power of crit. Who's the man? You're the only man with a goatee. I wish I could, like, open up the map to see more. These are getting pretty intricate. Gotcha! Fools. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. But we mustn't be careless. Alright, of course you got a crit. So luckily, I have Aggie now. Iori is Junpei is really pulling his weight. Those are the stairs. I feel a bit <laughs> weird. Like, either that's a super chest or something. I'm going to save state. Like, presumably it's not a boss, but... Oh, nope. We got angry at me. It's just a normal enemy. Okay. Didn't know how, like, the enemy attracted. Eh. Two enemies oh, darn. These guys are probably going to do some damage. So I definitely need to obliterate you. I do not know. Oh, total annihilation. Crit time. Oh, I thought it was going to be a crit. Because it showed his eye flash. Can you turn the camera? I don't think so. I could try. It's leveled up. Level up. Oh, then also shouldn't you... Ah, no. Didn't get the Ray Petri. Like, let's try. We can turn. I'm an idiot. For some reason, I thought I couldn't. Ooh, what's that? I am Le Fool, though. A katana owned by the monk... Nishiren. Katana, you say? Thank you, chat. I probably would have gone through the entire game just not, not at all thinking about it. It's just like, well, I guess we just can't turn the camera. Heedily diddly. Gold? 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 That feels important. Oh, uh, Snuff soul. Oh yeah, I've I've that's probably either gonna be difficult or lucrative. So Oh, and that returns the uh, thing to normal. Oh what the fuck? You bitch Alright. It was gonna be lucrative, but it ran away. I wasted my resources. I just, I don't know how close I need to be to fight these One things. Oh yeah, what's that? Neutralizes poison. There's gonna be poison in this game. Or, or the golden thing would have been powerful and lucrative and would have kicked my ass, but it ran away anyway. Alright. You. 
It's always that last twitch that makes me paranoid. What stick, you you fucker? You mock me? I say return to entrance. We made decent progress. And things are getting slightly scary there. Like to save. Gold enemies are hard to hit. You need to make sure it doesn't notice you. If it does, then uh, you hope to chase it and catch it. My advice is try to hit it when its back is turned. Definitely. They always run if you can kill them. Yeah, they drop an item for fusion weapons. Yeah, fusion weapons? Jesus. Well, I guess we shall return to dorm for now. Because I don't think I'm ready to fight whatever's there. Oh, I've become tired. Didn't they say something about going to the nurse's office? Well, maybe. Man, I'm so tired. Coming to school is a job by itself. Things got so busy all of a sudden. Well, I do feel a lot more satisfied, though. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Having something that we only we can do, it just feels great. <sighs> oh, man. I'm getting teary-eyed now. Going to class is a pain. The only thing I look forward to is after school. How will I kill time? Oh, there's a question mark. Junpei came over to talk to you in the moment class ended. Yo, mind hanging out with me after this? I know some place that's really good. It'll be my treat. Come on, let's go. Sweet, let's go. All right, now you're talking. Ooh, Hagakure Ramen. Are you? Are we gonna get that boost that they said about? From chat. Doo -doo. Here's an interesting fact about what's inside the Evokers. There inside is a special rare item being used as energy cores to powering up Persona summons, called Plumes of Dust. What makes these items unique is their property to exist between physical matter and psychological information. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. It's crowded, but luckily you were able to get in without much weight. Um, alright. We'll have two specials. That sounds good. Well, I'm sure it'll be better than uh, you're expecting. After a few moments, the waiter brings you two ramen bowls. The fragrant smell rising from the bowls makes your stomach growl. Kind of funny how good food kind of makes you m like more hungry a lot of the time, if you think about it. Come on, try it! You take a bite. The distinct taste of soup blends well with the thick noodles. Like, <laughs> thick noodles? I don't think I've ever had really thick noodles, except for like, maybe, uh, lasagna, maybe? I don't know. It's really quite delicious. <laughs> this is delicious! <laughs> Good, right? Well then, I'm digging in too. Chow time! Ah! Hot, hot, hot! Oh, man, this is great! Although Junpei eats noisily, he seems to be enjoying his ramen. Hey! Do you feel okay now? I heard that while you were out for a while, you were in the hospital. You seemed full of energy at school, but I was kind of worried. Huh. That's kind of sweet of him. I wonder what... The, I'm kind of like... Like, I don't know. Thanks, but the dot 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 makes me worried. The dot 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 makes me think like, I don't know. Feels like it's... I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know. Granted, I don't know if this will affect his social link or not. Hmm. Hmm. Because I could say, is that why you invited me out? But that feels a little confrontational. Uh, I'll say that. Huh? Oh, um, well, yeah. I had some problems myself when I transferred here, too. In your case, you've got all the fighting stuff on top of that. I was worried if you weren't accustomed to school or whatever. 
But then again, I think you'll do just fine. Junpei seems embarrassed and laughs. You can sense Junpei's thoughtfulness towards you. Oh, nice. Oh, social link unlock. Magician, I assume? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. Hell yeah. You have established the Junpei Iori social link of the Magician Arcana. You may earn an experience bonus when fusing personas of the Magician Arcana. Still, girls and guys living in the same dorm, huh? That can't be good. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Oh, don't worry about me. I don't drag love into my work. Then again, I can't guarantee that I won't fall for somebody. <laughs> you and Junpei chatted for a while, then headed back. And then we headed to the Welcome evening. Back. I see. Have you been monitoring your condition? Exploring Tartarus can be very tiring. If you use up your stamina exploring the tower, you'll be tired for the rest of the next day. The other's conditions will vary as well, so make sure you take into consideration before you begin exploring. Help! Those who fight in Tartarus will quickly become tired, and may require several days of rest to recuperate. It would be unwise to venture into Tartarus in such a state, so be sure to check each member's condition beforehand. But I do believe that we shall stop there. We've been going for four hours. That's a decent amount of time. And I say we made decent progress. We formed a second social link just right there. We went into Tartarus twice. Just very good timing. Very, very nice. I'm really enjoying this game. It's very, very interesting. Also, it does feel like they made the female main character, like, writing real smooth. Where you wouldn't really expect it to be, like, a... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, a secondary thing they just added after the main route. But... The music's neat, the gameplay's pretty cool, even if I think the analyzing seems hit or miss. So I just it's something that I need to keep in mind in my own mind. But I'm really liking it. The characters so far, pretty interesting. I wonder how they're gonna unfold. And we're not even that like far into the game. We're only four hours of this like 60 to 70 hour game. But this is good. This is lots of fun. Wonder where the story will go? <laughs> it's like the idea of the darkening hour is kind of weird. There's an extra hour in the day where everyone turns into coffins and nobody notices a thing. I guess it also disables cameras. Boats and planes, they don't get affected, I guess. The shadows just begin piloting the plane. But the vibes are pretty cool. And also, like, the way the point-and-click navigation is done, it doesn't feel like it was something they did to adapt this game to PlayStation Portable. It feels quite natural, which I really like. Yeah, overall, just very, very nice. Really, really enjoyable. And I can't wait to play more. But thank you, everybody, for watching. The next time that I will stream should be Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want other things from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, or direct links to that in bios, descriptions, and other places, have links to everything that I do, like my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming Twitch or YouTube, where all of these streams then end up on the streaming YouTube as a 
my recordings because sometimes streaming can go wrong, but a direct recording, usually not as much. And then also, if you want art similar to my little character in the corner, you can follow me on various sites I upload art to. Same thing with stories. I write some stories and throw them up on some various sites. And then finally is uh, my Patreon, which is just a little donation box for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly... Be kind and stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye.